Woman over there, <laughs> Lindsay Wagner, about to crush that glass. <laughs> Another year. Another year, bro. Did you have a New Year resolution, bro? It was to grow your hair longer or what? <laughs> <laughs> Look like a mini, uh, uh, the little willy that we throw in the water and it's just slowly going to grow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like those little dinosaurs uh, that used to I have a side baby. <laughs> hey, it looks bro, like you, yeah, bro. Bro, well, at least he told me that he was my. He's all, cause he used to, he used to ask me, "Hey, where'd your mom go party at?" I told him, "Oh, by, Club Bahia." He, like, uh, he was really dad, curious. Hey, I got donkey teeth too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, eh? I do have this. Hey, dog. Yeah. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> you You're acting like the homie likes carrots, eh? Oh. <laughs> it's a little groundhog, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are they called? Uh, there's a bunch of little things like that. Golfers. Like, no, but there's moles. Did, oh, moles. Little rooties. There's voles, too. What are voles? Voles are like moles. You mean underground put up, uh, rodents? Put up moles versus voles. Whoa. What's Bulls? a vol? Hey, can you um, put that a water bottle wagon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Underground rodents, right? V-O- like, V-O-L-E, just like That one in Texas, the Hayubasa, or what's it called? You mean Hayubay? the capybara? Uh, yeah, the capybara. I, I want a capybara so bad. But I don't think that's the no. capybara. I think that's a river rat down there. Oh, yeah, well, like, like a... Like a <laughs> it, they're river rats. A wet weasel, homie, that's what they call them. Yeah, yeah so the moles exactly, are... Li- voles are like moles, <laughs> but... Yeah. They have eyeballs, or? I will go with one of those, eh? <laughs> Where's that one from, dude? <laughs> Huntington Park or what? We have, a, we have a gopher problem in the valley. Oh, really? Yeah, they, we've had it for several years. Like Caddyshack? Yeah, they show up. Like in, in, in the morning, you, in the morning you see like the like the tunnel that the gopher did all over the grass. Yeah. I heard a little rumor, Holmes. A little chapel, homie. Um, that in two, 2008 with the housing crisis, the county of L.A. like got rid of their vector control program, oh. which is basically to get rid of rodents or rodent control. And then when that stopped, they started stopped giving them poison all over the county. Mm-hmm. Like it's, the population sprang up with gophers and rats. Oof. Yeah, man. I was watching this video <clears throat> this morning. It's exterminator corner. Yeah, <laughs> they were um, they were eating um, Indian food, but they were like they were like they were showing this part of India where like people people who are watching the video don't know that the the mice are sacred, so the mice get to walk around the whole city. Nobody bothers them. And they're all over the city, bro, everywhere. But this guy is a street vendor, and oh. he has a, a street food outside, and he's making food and. One of the rats goes inside the bowl and takes a little piece and runs out. Awesome. And then, like, <laughs> but there are rats everywhere. And the guy's still cooking, bro, and heated. Everybody said, that's why I'm never going to India. Man, if you ever follow that Indian street food TikTok or Indian street food on Instagram, yeah. there's some nasty stuff. But, I mean, I, don't th- <laughs> I think it's a lot of places that make street food. But they just highlight these Indian people. But the way they cook it, too, it's like they want to make it look like the dirtiest. I don't think they want to. I think that's just their <laughs> environment, dude. I, I think that like they're it, just cooking. But imagine on the dirty you street. grow up in that shit. You have a like a I've iron to some, stomach, bro. You know? I've been to some places in Mexico where they hang meat and it's dusty as hell, oh, but yeah. it meat's still good. I guess. I never understood how, first of all, you could that's dry meat and in, in a in a dry place in like in a barn for like six yeah, months you and you can it. still eat it. So, Tina, that's my, what's my how mom. does that work? Put salt on it. Because that's like a luxury, right? Yeah. Like aged beef, right? Turkey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess salt is if you sp- have some money, but so salt, salt, lemon. Is but I heard, not- well, my mom said when she was a little girl that they used to put it, all the, the pork in the pork fat. And whenever they needed a piece, they would just take it out of the pork fat. Yeah. And the pork fat would, like, basically preserve it. Like room temperature? Roman yeah. Style. I, Roman apparently. style, bro. you're eating a loose Skywalker taco. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she told me, bro. But then I was, because in Zacateca, supposedly they eat rats. I never they ate rats. Rat. But they, but I guess it's field rats or forest rats or in la sierra way. Yeah, that's funny you say that about India because I saw a documentary on on this place 
where they were killing rats left and right like not mice but it was rats left Rodrigo and right style, homie. yeah but they were like it was a thing it was like a job people had just going out at night and killing rats i used to work with this paisa like catching and, them and, and, and uh, ups and uh, we were security guards and um i told him man i told him in english and, and then spanish he goes it's a lot of fucking rats around here he goes that's not pichy patadas eh? <laughs> <laughs> rats are scary <laughs> if you've never been uh, around them i don't care who you are i, I died uh, man that was so mean man that he said that right he goes there's a lot of rats around here yeah man just fuck them kick them bro that's kick true. them to the side eh? he goes they don't care because dude if they scratch you and stuff you can get a hard but this fool like you can get nasty he was this them. dude that was like like yeah oh man i wonder what he's doing right now man yeah bad luck <laughs> <laughs> like, what, like what living in squalor and shit that UPS, was, bro? that food name was Diego or Rigoberto I forgot his name hey, believe, is this the UPS right there on Bandini yeah bro oh, we were wow. security guards there bro Bandini. and all we, we, not, we, 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 we never saw the huh? <laughs> bro, all we did was the trucks would come in and we write write down the number of the truck on a paper and then we'll get a, la a little long ladder like the ones they use for the airplane to, to go up <laughs> and then we'll go up there and we will cut the the wire off the 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 truck, and then put the thing in a truck, and then put put in the trash, and they, but you can't throw in the floor because then another truck come in and boom, fucking flat tire. So uh, sure. we have to make sure, bro. We're never, we're never security guard, bro. It's like labor work. <laughs> so they will come in, but it'll just be like three hours of hardcore cutting, bro. Then after that, was the next five hours was. Boring dog. Let's eat a pizza dog. Boring for real dog. <laughs> for real, we would. Watch a movie. Me dog. and this dude were Crazy working bread, from me, from ten o'clock at night to six in the morning, bro. Graveyard, no, baby. So at, from one to six, boring dog. So <laughs> me and this fool, bro, like when it get when it got closed for the next shift, we we'll start like putting up the heater, bro. Thirty minutes in, and start farting all our food from the uh. night. And, and close it, That's bro. That's what it hits you. And close it. And then we'll go outside and wait. And then when the dudes, the next year will come in, bro, they'll go in there, bro. They have to breathe it, eh? Get gassed. They gass hard. But the weirdest thing. This fool, like, <laughs> I started That's, work, work, that's work stuff right there, I started working though. with this guy, right? And then that's when I realized. Before Christmas passed, That's bro. when I realized that I'm working too hard, eh? <laughs> I'm, I'm taking this job too serious. This fool, man. He didn't give a shit. He would go like this. He goes, man, everything. He goes, it's going to come on. Todo va a estar bien calmado para una dos horas, eh? I said, watch, boy. And I put to take off his car and I come back to, like, he be gone, bro. Like, two hours later, he'll come back and shit. Always with food, though, bro. Like, just the taje tacos, eh? Going to a paisa. Like, he'll go to sure, uh, me uh, Taco Mexico right there. And he'll bring me, like, fucking, like, Dude, he was my gone a long time, bro. And but the nachos, burger, homie. fresh. Ooh. Like, like he got it. Like that was right before he left. Yeah, he got them fresh. And he'll bring me. He'll bring me a burrito. But one time, that fool had a big old grano in his eyeball, bro. <laughs> like, like a, a herpy, like, homie. like a fucking herpy. <laughs> and I asked him what happened. Nice. What happened, Pop homies? It, homie. He goes, "No, man, pelo que era tenías tijeras sucias." That's where he got it, bro. He said that the lady had um. Dirty scissors. Dirty scissors. Does that make sense? I guess sense, she didn't though? wash them after no. the next bra, and then he, he must have had a cut. His eye got infected. I don't think I, metal, I was, I don't think metal <laughs> uh, attracts germs like that. I it? was with a girl that's kind of ghetto. Well, she's ghetto, but she went to get a pedicure, and then she got a a ongo right there, like it oh. grew right there, like a, a mushroom fool. A uh, fungus, homie. Yeah, <laughs> fungus. Yeah. Yeah. And if they don't sterilize the yeah. tools. Yeah, so that's stuff. what that's yeah. what I'm thinking. That fool, that security guard, bro, was working there for a long time before me, bro. He knew the game all in and out. Dog. That's like he knew how to leave and like. And that fool, food. that fool could put on any uniform and he looked like a federal rally, bro. <laughs> no matter what. That fool had the dark glasses and shit. It was nighttime, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that fool's ready for laser rays. That fool, you know, how everybody has security boots. That fool had high top black Reeboks. <laughs> Cheap ass security guard, huh? You, you, okay, so that was right there by and Vernon, right? Yeah, and uh, that there used to be a fool that was working before him. Well, when he was working, he got there used to be a supervisor, and they they called the fool the el captain. Capitan, he was the captain, okay. el capitan, and that fool was. They say that he was like a dirty ass dude, right? 
Like crooked or what? Crooked, bro. Like he'll go UPS and steal shit, dog. <laughs> he had a little ring going on. Yeah, he'll still go in there and he'll open up. He'll like he'll be like this, and then like because he'll know like he'll know like the, he'll talk to the, that graveyard shift guy. He go, I mean, que te una hora, algo pesado. So, but there's like no cameras, like no cameras, dog. So they're all ah. Henry. We're Hill outside. We're outside. Sure. And inside, crazy. he's a security guard, bro. He could just pretend he took the box over there, yeah. opened it. That fool, bro, and Captain, UPS had um a, had a cans, had, had fucking um, trash cans all over the UPS, bro. And it was a big UPS. And they had uh, trash cans full of his aluminum cans that they were used for parties, you know, for everybody, you know. And they were recycle. And the Captain, bro, once they were full, that fool will go gather them, bro, and take them all, bro. All corrupt, huh? Yeah, dog. And then, like, uh, if you leave refrigerator, anything you left, gone, bro. You'll take it, dog. <clears throat> I was going to ask you, uh, <laughs> after that, you learned the ropes and that guy poisoned you, you start, you stopped working from hard? You started fucking around and yeah, t- bro, taking I naps Yeah, bro, I didn't do nothing, shit. dog. <laughs> it's so funny, dog, when you, like, work with somebody that, like, shows you exactly how it works. Bro, I, I you work. You go in there all pure first, huh? I work with that fool on a Sunday when nobody was there. That fool taught me how to drive one of those trucks, bro. Metal <laughs> el cambio. Sir, sir, we were, driving, up, uh, we were driving a truck. He turned it on. He goes, yeah, that's... Every job. And then, and, then, and then he was like, he goes, man. And I asked him, well, why, why are you learning this for? He goes, just in case, man, you know, in, in an emergency. Nunca sabes, que sabe, que sabe esta madre. <laughs> Aquí estoy. He goes, they fire his ass for being corrupt. He's going to be yeah, a who, truck hey, driver. Who, who, know, who knows how to drive this, this <laughs> truck? Right here, eh? Anyways... That's how I, that, that's how I fucked around because I knew this. He, bro, that fool. I used to work with this guy who I think I, he might have been like a little. He was married, bro, but I think he liked guys, you Damn. know. But he was hiding from his, You know, one of those heteros, homosexual men that suppressed got that married, shit. suppressed it, yeah. hiding from his, hiding his whole life. Had kids, but now, family. bro, it's you're in your fifties and it wants to come out real bad. Eh? Yeah, let me have uh, it, homie. So, that dream, bro. So I, I stay away Open from that up. fool, dog. <laughs> He goes, yeah, I'm going to go get a good cup of coffee. He goes, what do you mean good cup of coffee, bro? This fucking good coffee here. What's wrong? What's good? What's what's good about it? I used to always fuck with him like that. And anyways, so that fool uh, I was working with, the guy that was corrupt, that, that paisa dude, he goes, pues, he goes, what happened, man? Pues el, el Freddy. He asked me if I, if I could teach him how to drive stick ship. Whoa. He don't know how to drive. And in my head, I think, wait a minute, motherfucker, old motherfucker don't know how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna molest so his uniform. He on showed, him. He's like, he's like, he he goes, but qué pasó? He said that fool showed up with Daisy Dukes on, bro. Damn, dude. He has shorts on, bro. The like, guy? yeah, like shorts, bro. Uh, like summer, bro. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, summer, but still, <laughs> dog. Still. Yeah, sticks, I had dude. wallabies on, bro. Like, yeah, and, and he had, he had like, put it, dog. He looked like Joe Dirt. I mean, he was cowboy boots. Yeah, dude. And he goes, but qué pasó? But le, le, le ayudaste, sí, pero la pinche pierna bien buena. <laughs> he said, yeah. his Dude, that's some true shit. A guy that never wears shorts, huh? Have you ever seen? That's Farmer Tan legs. Yeah, his Ooh. short, his, he said his legs were wide as fuck, bro. Like, uh, what did his homie? wife tell this guy before he left, dog? Yeah, well, he probably love you, baby. The car. She probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. Probably went to the library and changed. Yeah, yeah. some restaurant. Where'd you get the library from? Uh, fools <laughs> are crazy, there? huh? Client fitness. No, he told you when he was telling me, man. I was like, a lot of what details here in the library. <laughs> but he was telling it's me this. I was right dying, bro. Like, <laughs> mean descriptions, though, huh? It's fun. Dude, I've always <laughs> loved working with people like that, dog. That fool, that fool would only make fun of another paisa that was there, bro. That's the only one that he would hate on. He goes, this car no tiene ánimo. Was that the same place you worked with, Phil Sandoval? Phil no, Sandoval? no, that was uh, UPS. Oh, UPS. Oh. That, bro, I got my brother's job there, and they fired <laughs> that, bro, for choking somebody. Wait, which brother, bro? <laughs> Juan Carlos. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Really, dog? Why? What happened? What a mean little temper, huh? My brother needed a job because um, I get my parents were tight for graduation money, so I told him I give you a job. You can get a job here, man. Shit, you can go to school was from seven to three, get out, work from ten to six in the morning, and go straight to school. Wow, what the fuck? Without sleep, damn, that's crazy. So you'll get out for school at three and then sleep and get to work around ten. 
Oh, okay, good. So I don't know what happened, bro. Well, he ended up taking the shift I had right there, bro. Uh-huh. And um, he, that fool got fired for choking somebody, some <laughs> guy from Afghanistan. Damn, God, really? Because yeah, they would take turns sleeping, and then they caught him sleeping. So my brother said, motherfucker, you were not watching my back. I watched <laughs> your back when you're sleeping. So it was over, bro. Damn. Then I gave that fool, I gave that fool BB a job there, that fool BB. Uh-huh. And Vicente Ibarra, bro, they were working there. Damn, you're hooking all those fools. All up. those fools, bro. I told Damn, him, but you bro. want a job? Well, you could do nothing and laugh. <laughs> That's a perfect job, though, dude. Bro, we were crank call restaurant. They're open late. He goes, ¿Dónde está, mi, ¿dónde está María? <laughs> Dice que ando con el cocinero, cabrón. And then I'll then, then hang up. And shit and talk, then I'll hang up. He goes, then I'll call back with the old, old ass fucking scam. And I'll, I'll call back. Bueno. Run. Bueno, soy el cocinero. Me ando buscando que alguien... <laughs> 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 they're torturing these poor ass paisas, dude. Was you guys out Star 69? Are <laughs> freaking out? Oh my gosh, dude. Soy el cocinero, me andan buscando, cuidado, eh. Le voy a llamar a las autoridades, por favor, ya. Ya basta. Let me call the lady. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Now the dude will call, but today he's gay, bro. It's <laughs> the guy with the Daisy Duke. <laughs> Señora, ¿cómo está el, cómo está el pozole? Bien con huesote. <laughs> So, you couldn't get away with this if you did the day shift. <laughs> Fuck no, bro. No, right? That's there's where everybody's so many, there, folks. There's so many employees there, bro. Like, dick the cherries from UPS showing up, pizza man. <laughs> oh, bro, you know what? They fired the captain because that fool was cooking eggs, bro. <laughs> he, started, he, he, he got Thinking too cocky, bro. He was cooking eggs in the fucking guard shack, bro. <laughs> People were coming in, bro. They could, they could smart. <laughs> uh, over easy or what? Bro, 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 why are you gonna bring a, a hot plate, bro? With two hours left in your shift? Yeah, it's a little too much. You see, bro. wait, easy, is, is, is that you know way? I remember yeah. one, I worked with like this crazy, this crazy guy. He was like half white, half Mexican, and he was all about um Mexico. the First Amendment, the gun Damn. rights, Second Amendment, Second Amendment. You know, fill that question and um <laughs> and um <laughs> and bang, <laughs> fucking um and what the first he one brought a gun. And he goes, yeah, man, they're going to take my guns away from me. <laughs> and, and, but in my head, I was thinking in my head. You're patriot, homie. Goes, they're going to take my guns away from me. me. And this is like 999. Easy, bro. And then he goes, and I'm like in my head, yeah, but we're not in my head. I'm thinking, I'm going to argue with a guy holding a gun, right? But I, in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, but we're not allowed to carry guns here in this guard shack. You know, we're on. And then he ended up getting fired, bro, finally for bringing his dog, bro. <laughs> He didn't get fired for the gun. He got no. fired for the, the dog. Gun. He brought a German Shepherd. He goes, you don't mind if my dog stays here, right? Yeah. He, <laughs> and his dog just stood there, bro, in the guard shack. And he, well, finally, bro, we, we, look, we feel legit. We get a canine unit now. <laughs> out of training, nowhere, the people. supervisor shows up out of nowhere, bro. Like, you know, they have security supervisors. He showed up, bro, and he saw the dog. Um, he goes, who's that? Oh, man, he just got hired, bro. He's, he's <laughs> new, man. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to give him a little bit of uh, I said that, him, bro. <laughs> that fool had no sense of humor, bro. And I knew who, the guy. The guy. I thought. I thought the guy liked me because that fool tried to be a cop everywhere. They told him no. He finally became a cop in Long Beach, bro. He was too white to be a cop anywhere, bro. Observing report over here, dude. Bro, he, uh, for serious long. He was too blonde and too Christian to be a cop anywhere. Everywhere LAPD, no. Uh, San Fernando, no. Everywhere, no, no, That's no. Crazy, finally, Long Beach, yes. Really? Motorcycle. Oh, dude. Yeah. Guys, they made in the beach cop. <laughs> yeah, beach cop. Anyway, that fool was too too kind for his own words, bro. He lent somebody 500 bucks, an employee. Idiot. Wow, that's a lot of money. I hope he's not listening. Anyway, so, <laughs> so um, that fool showed up, man. He goes, um, he goes, is there a dog in there? Oh, yeah, man, but uh, well, he, he's, perro, he, he just got hired, bro. <laughs> he's new, man. He don't know how to fill a report right now. He goes, whose dog is it? The new guys? He's like, yeah, who's is it? Like, he'll be back right now. Right? He went to go buy burritos. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should have just said that we, <laughs> just, we just found a dog yeah, on the street, bro. Straight. Bro, yeah. he went to go buy burritos, bro. He, he, brought, he went to go buy burritos, but left the dog there, right? Yeah, hey, uh, that one day that that guy showed up and busted everybody is a day that you guys always fucked around. He thought nobody was going to show up ever. Oh my god, bro! But they didn't, they fired that dude, but they didn't fire me because I was a dude like. So one time, bro, I was there sixteen hours. 
Because no one showed up, bro. That's bro. illegal, isn't it? Or? Soldier over here, bro. Double time, bro. Damn, company dude. man. I would write my best jokes back then, bro. All bored. Rizzo <laughs> seems to not understand like what it's like to have a really tough job, and it sucks. I mean, this job was he boring, goes, bro. He goes, well, you have because to, you he have also to, was like, wait a minute, you're gonna be going there, going to work, and not going to sleep? Like you're you're just gonna go to school after? Because I, I don't think I ever had like a crazy. But mean, sometimes you have to do that to meet a goal, you know, like. Yeah. You know, like six months, I'm gonna do this, or the for a year. The craziest I think I did was the gotta work New Year's. Day. When yeah. I did live, I remember. <laughs> <Work New Year's. laughs> like, you gotta do shit you don't like. I used to work from seven o'clock in the morning <laughs> to three p.m. at the, at Silmar. Security, another boring security you job. You took a bus to Silmar. No, I, I didn't right? take the bus. No, I, not no, that one. No, I, I took. I oh. had a car. Oh, I thought you you we were talking about the bus route up to uh, that area. That was back in the day, man. When I had a a, a, a job. After high school, bro, I got somebody pregnant. And, uh, somebody? Bro, I used to, that job was so <laughs> far away from where I lived. And that, that was they, a Silmar That job? they allowed us to, to be an hour late. It was in um, Canoga Park, bro. Damn, damn that's from a valley, boy, valley, boy, valley. Hot ass valley. Hate you, fucking damn. No trains, dog. Wait, that's like fucking. So I would have to k- get up in the morning at 5.30 and catch the 31 bus on Atlantic right there on 1st and um, Utah. At the 31 bus, and that shit would take me to Hill Street, and I get there by 6, and I, at 6.10, I would catch the 425, bro, and that motherfucker went all the way in the freeway, and they got off on um, on Lancashire, and it went to Topanga. Dude, that's so and many the, buses right there. And, Fuck. I, and, then, and then on Topanga, I went to get off, bro, and catch another bus that would drop me off. In front of um, Conoga Park High School. Three so buses? That, three. So that's when you looked at the fucking little bus schedule and you're like, okay, this and that and that. Fuck, <laughs> oh, dude. There's that's no why when fools like get a ride to work and it's like they carpool and shit, they're all happy, huh? They don't have to be on the bus. If you know that but, life. Yeah, man. So, dude. What a relief, dude. So, for Friday night, we would get paid, dog. And I would just, we would just get loaded in that bus stop, bro, waiting for the bus. And sometimes they would kick out the bus being too loaded, though. In the morning? No, at night. I'm going back home. So, um, if you missed that bus and at at five fifty, it was over. But you're not gonna make it over there to work. At, you're gonna be there two hours late now. Damn, fuck, dude. And bro, we would get there. It was a it was a kickback job though. It was cool, man. It was a, a job where all all my jobs, every job I ever had, I got away with not doing shit. Like every job, bro. Like you got lucky, like finding those kind of jobs. Yeah, like I got lucky. Yeah, no, pay, no job didn't pay nothing, but. It was always it was so boring that people wouldn't show up, and I would get double time, bro, for for just being there another eight hours. And those are those type of jobs, though. Those are like you know, like some little positions in a warehouse where you can maneuver without doing shit all day. Full. I moved uh, from that job. I moved all the way to the top, bro. Where, <laughs> where, yeah, you know, homie, <laughs> where like Eddie Murphy in Trading Places. Where huh? I was, I was. So that cop, the guy that ended up being a cop, uh-huh. the guy that um that when I said, uh, "Whose dog is this?" Yeah, he works here. That dude. <laughs> He he was the uh, he was like the his his he was the fucking um the guy in charge of um putting everybody everywhere like the scheduler a scheduler coordinator you know and like when people have a hey man I'm gonna call in sick all right hold on okay where do you work at I work at the UPS and Loma Linda all right hold on okay cool man don't worry about it see you tomorrow so then I would call somebody who's off. To fill that position. But sometimes, bro, like, fucking Loma Linda too fucking far, bro. Ain't nobody gonna go over there. So I would just tell that, I would just tell that, I would go, I would call that UPS and, and I tell the security guard, listen, man, I know you get off in two hours, but um, your, your relief just called off. So right now I'm working on finding a replacement for you. But, um, but so far it looks like you're gonna be in maybe another four hours the best thing i could do is get the get the the third guy to come in four hours early and then you guys can both cover the shift for the other guy and i would do it like that dog or sometimes i couldn't find nobody to go there so i say fuck it christmas is coming i'll go there eh? (laughs) i'll put on my suit and shit and go over there and i know this job was midnight to eight in the morning it was a secured warehouse that just somebody in there I'll show my sleeping bag, bro. 
So you, the best sleep I ever got in my life. You, like, like, like homeboy said, like you knew all the ropes. Like after a while, I was a scheduler, knew. bro, of the That's of the crazy. of the securities. Cause, bro, I used to maneuver the the schedule so good. I was good at scheduling, so good, and booking myself at that job that that I would get four days off with pay, bro. <laughs> Cause my days off were Monday and Tuesdays. So then I would tell the guy that's off Saturday and Sunday to come in on Monday and Tuesday for me. And then I'll come in for him on Saturday and Sunday. And then when it's time for my his days off, he has Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four days off. <laughs> do you think like in, a, like in an alternate world, if you didn't do comedy, where do you think you'd be right now with that kind of like? Bro, I'll be the I'll be in charge of like staffing manager or something. Staffing people, at the job that Lisa had, but with I no college that, degree. Yeah. Recruiting and staffing. Yeah. Recruiting wow. and staffing, bro. The CEO of uh, Labor Ready. <laughs> I'll be I'll be working at the Laugh Factory, booking comedians, booking the show. Oh, sorry, yeah, we got um, Ali Wong could do the show now. <laughs> That's funny. What's bro. up, fool? Yeah, bro. So That's I used to I used to work crazy. from seven to three p.m. security. And then I would work at Dodger Stadium from 5 to 10 p.m. And I mo- that job paid way more money than the security job. Way more. Because it was union. And then uh, from that, I would go to the comedy store, bro, for a quick $25. <laughs> that's, a, like, that's like a whole different, like, life that you had. Like, it's just, compared to what it is now, it's just, it's insane. Yeah, man. It builds character. A lot of my stories <laughs> come from working all those jobs. And you need those kind of like uh, stories to be able to develop some Material. humor like that, you know? Because you just can't be like a a teenager with like no life experience, dude. I don't know. How. Like you, bro, when you were working with that. Um, Ernesto? Yeah, right away. <laughs> I was going to say, hey, that, I was gonna say the guy with a film, but all right. Hey, oh, Lenny. If you want to go there, right? <laughs> Lenny, you bro. Give names and dates. What's up? We got Lisa here with her flowery tracksuit right here. <laughs> I'm feeling very Dutch after our trip. Yeah, man. We've been. You know, I, we went to do um, the mothership in Austin. That was fun, right? Hell yeah, dude. And um, there it is right there, oh, man. Shit. Hey, man. Mitzi's. That was a badass <gasps> little bar right there. Everybody, was the, the the green room was tight. And then after that, um, everybody went home, and I went to New York. I was staying at the Lower East Side. And then Lisa showed up the same day, right? Mm-hmm. We were there two nights? A uh, day and a half. Oh, day yeah. and a half. Yeah, the half day when we and I got there, and then um, ne- a whole day, and then we went to London. Did you stay there with us at Lower East Side at the hotel with the Jewish man? Yeah, well, that dude, because that dude, the yeah, same guy that was in that picture. Yeah, him and Butch the artist? and uh, Gabby, I think. Yeah, right? but none, yeah, but the other one, the, the older Jewish man, he grew up with uh, Louis Guzman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He that said that his mom. The one who's dressed with the Hasidic. Yeah, he the, said that his mom lived. And everything. He lived in the same building as his, as his mother. Yeah. Still right now? He said he knew all those guys, Basquiat, and he knew that guy from wow. the actor studio. The host? What's his name? James Lipton? Lipton, yeah. James, not James Lipton. Some other guy that, <laughs> some other Jewish guy that does interviews. Actor not, not Not Larry King, someone else. Charlie Rose? Charlie Rose. Oh, okay. He grew up with Charlie Rose, too. Yeah. And Charlie uh, he Rose has been... Uh, canceled too right recently so and then, something came up with and, that gross. and he knew all the graffiti Years artists in the area John Michelle Boscat mm-hmm. and I think this guy used to be a party animal too bro and, and I think the he way seems like he's the got, way he dresses and everything came in later in life yeah that he got back to his Hasidic roots yeah the something. Beastie Boys grew up next right there in that neighborhood you see that they, they have a street yeah, named yeah, after them did, did, you, you, go did you send Philip the photo from no uh, we, the I seen the photo you seen it Cause I, I think it was a little bit after they, we left. Did he send uh, the photo of the street sign? I don't have that. I don't have photo. it. I don't know where it is. Sean Michael Bach. I don't have my phone. Yeah, dude, we went. Uh, Lisa and I, we, we walked to. Um, I never been to the Grand Central Station, man. All those times yeah, I've been there, never been there. Huge, huh? My acting coach used to be a. She used to be a waitress in that bar inside. Um, Grand St- Central Station back in the eighties. It's 80s. a nice wine bar at the top. She of the took stairs. me to um, to um, Chelsea's Market. Yeah, but you know it's changed so much. It's you so, like it, bro. It looks like a mall now when you go inside. They got but it fat used to be, fish. It used to be the meat market on the west side. So is Chelsea on the west side? Yeah. Okay. So it's like right by the water. So is that uh, like the original? Fourteenth like to Twenty Third Street is Chelsea. 
That at the tenderloins, right? Where all the meat people used to be there, all the meat packing. I guess is that what tenderloin is in San Francisco? Be, yeah. That's what meat packing. I never knew what tenderloin meant, but I figured that was what it was. Yeah, it was meat packing district, and then uh, they took over like the lofts, and oh, they took those over and made lofts. They made businesses, but Chelsea Market was like, it was cool because it had like cobblestone rough floors it was, like, and grittier stuff, back and it was then? yeah, we had like you know people's. Like bread, if they if you were a bakery, all your stuff was out in carts. I forgot that they do have a lot of bread in that market. Hallway, tisanol. But now it's like inside. All of them are inside a storefront, like a glass wall and stuff, and it's kind of boring. It's like walking through a mall now. You know, it just felt like oh, it's it very like fancy, an but open market. I, never, I never been there but before. A, yeah, and they had an old Italian market, and that I used to get like anchovy paste and like. Um, basil and like certain tomatoes that they only make you know sell canned like in italy and stuff and like i don't know it's like it's you got cool corporate spot. kind of like corporate kind yes of like... it just got it had a lot a lot of money pumped into it you a know? lot of the old spots still there are gone no it seems to go it wasn't that woody allen new york bro you know yeah i mean chelsea market but there's like a train line that stopped we didn't go up there but next time we will i went into last time it's a train line that goes mm. on the west side that was abandoned years ago. They don't run any trains out there anymore. And now it's like a garden and walking path, jogging oh, path. Shit. It goes, I think, about nine blocks or so. <laughs> yeah, we, we walked to Central Park. I went to go see that 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 lady that um, from Home Alone too. The pigeon lady. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he wanted to see that. And then we went to we saw went to the Alice in Wonderland statue and the Hans Christian Andersen statue. Yeah, he, by he the wrote lake. the book, The Ugly Duckling. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we had cool. fun. We we're, you know, smoking and having a good time. We we saw, uh, we went to the, we where the, of, we went to, to that hotel where Home Alone 2, where he stood at too. The Grand <laughs> Central? The Plaza. The Plaza. The, 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 the Plaza runs into, runs into Trump. Yeah. 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 And you yeah. know what? And um, <laughs> the, the park is yeah, right yeah. outside. Mm-hmm. Is it really like, like oh, you, shit. you can really run, to, you can yeah, really like run to the park yeah. right there, right next door. A little badass part of New York. Right. End of the movie. The FAO Schwartz is gone now, though. Oh, is it? Yeah. What is it now? Nothing. It's like a weird, like glass fixture. Oh, that's crazy. And then dude. Trump is Trump's hotel is gone, or it's renamed something else. But there's no name on it. Trumpino. <laughs> but it was it was cold over there, dude. It was very cold. Was Y'all crazy. can have this. Y'all but can have this. Was it, <laughs> what, was it snowing though, or no? No, it was just cold. But that windy <laughs> ass cold, cold bro. Yeah, oh it was my biting. god, Pierces, bro! Pierces dude. through the fucking <laughs> jackets. Yeah, dude. I had gloves and had. So and, then the. Yeah. We um right next right next door to uh, the Lower East Side uh, hotel we stay in, with, which is this one right here. I'm wearing a t-shirt. Oh, look at you! Whoa, dude! You guys looking moon. for a place? You guys looking for a place to stay here, moon. man? And if you're with your family <laughs> and your friends. If you're like four four badass dudes that don't mind um, laying up in a in a bed and a couch and a and a mattress, you're gonna be staying here, man. They have a kitchen. They have a they have a nice little... There, there it is right there. It feels yeah, tight up. when you're like in the lobby. And they have a cafe in the lobby with like Italian food and res- desserts. They have lemon tiramisu, fool. Whoa, yeah. and, lemon tiramisu. Yeah, and the owner, Randy <clears throat> Settenbrino, right? Yeah. He's... um, That owner is like... He did a lot of the artwork and stuff there, but he's really nice and he'll sit and talk to you for hours. <laughs> Felipe, talk to him forever. Oh, bro. That guy... When he was talking they have to little me. suites and balconies and stuff. Yeah. Lower East Side. It's a cool When he was spot. talking to me, I said, oh, yeah, because I remember I threw Butch at him. Oh, your friend. He likes to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I love to talk. I was born to talk. I was talking to him. <laughs> yeah. He said he's from uh, San Francisco. He said Berkeley. <laughs> yeah, right there. Oppenheimer. I'm actually right there by the lecture hall. That's why I know everything about genetics. And, uh, <laughs> so in the... In the whatever, the, whatever. I was looking for Bud in the cor- and in the corner right there. There's a, there's a this dispensary now. Really? And it's owned by Tyson. Uh, not owned by Tyson, but, but that Tyson, Tyson brand Tyson products, we yeah. yeah. Mike Tyson. Because I was gonna say like even in New York and all that, all the, those little spots that are now like hotels or whatever, it's all like hardcore dense city living. So it's all smaller. Right? Yeah. It's, it's not like over here all spread out. Oh, everything building dense. up. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Silmar, a big old barn for a bedroom, huh? Philip, look for um um look for um. <clears throat> For um, Taylor's in, in Taylor's in Lower East Side, 
dude. What's so, that spot? so I bought when I got there. Remember, I, I bought that suit right with the candy canes. Uh huh. Oh yeah. But it was it was f- long, bro. You they were tailored. They were waist. Yeah. They were length thirty four, right? They only have one length, basically. Oh, the yeah. pants are yeah. yeah they were long, bro. Yeah. They were That's wide true. like fucking clown pants. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, 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 I asked the guy. I asked the guy at the hotel. Hey man, is there a place I could um get my hat my pants hemmed? He goes, my friend, you're in the you're in the best place in all of New York. And I forgot the Lower East Side, bro, is all tailors. So every corner had a tailor, bro. Every corner. That's where I went. That one. Go back. Right through that one. On. Click on that one. That's where I went. Dude, New York, New York's fucking bad as fuck, dude. Yeah, so bro, I walk in there. There's a little young Dominican dude with a little fro. Cool Yo, ass dude. Oh, yeah, they sit right there, bro. Talking and yapping, smoking, and like Cubans, working the Caribbean him, fools yeah. right there, the bro. Time. And uh, they're just, this. ask the guy, hey, man, how much for the pants him? The guy measured me, um, $7. And I said, okay, I'll be right back. Give that fool kit back. Give that fool 15 Then Then, 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 I, then, shit, then, then Lisa bro. showed up, and I said, you should just got him more. They were to get, get them um, I showed up two hours later, yeah, and they were done already. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I got to pick up my pants. He was done in hours? 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes, dude? Yeah. Then, yeah. So wow. then um, I went back again. I said, you know what? They're too wide. Can you make them thinner? He goes, how do you want them? I gave him a, a, a pair of blue pants the way I want them, bro. Dude. He cut dude. them to the side. He made them. Yeah. The, the, those pants look like this now. Wow, dude. That's All that. Skill, that was dude. another. That cost me 10, 15 bucks. That's nothing. So I paid to give him 25, yeah. bro. And they finished it. We were there for a day and a half. We got pants done. Less than six. It, was, it would have taken like four or five days at our tailor that we should go to. At you called trailer. in Austin, right? And then they give you all, well, we're not open until 12. And nobody yeah. Oh, Click on oh that place God, for the one I showed you. It was so It was nice. fast, dog. <laughs> That's what oh. they do all fucking day like right that, Right there, that place. Dude. What's the name of it? Express Taylor. Express Taylor. What's the street? Those fools ain't playing, dude. It's on 92 Rivington Street. Yeah, that's it. Um, that place, dude, uh, dude, we at least were there. Tell him what that old man came in there asking for, that coat. Oh, my God. This guy came in and he goes, hey, man, like back in the 90s, remember those hats Whoa. the Jews used to wear? Oh, my <laughs> God. We were like, what? what the fuck? Was that Kanye <laughs> or what? <laughs> I think he was looking for those big, you know, the Orthodox yeah. guys wear, who wear those the Russian hats, those big Russian hats, hats. Yeah. <laughs> one the one of the one of the hats that George got inside. But the way he came in and the guys, the, yeah. ta- the tailors were like, "What?" Like they had no response. Made out of a beaver guy. pelt. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, bro, easy. Yeah, crazy. man. So when I, when I saw all those older men just tailoring, bro, and being happy, fucking enjoying their coffee, bro, and talking politics. That, there you go. <laughs> Right yeah. there. But, that, <laughs> like the but the cool thing about that kind is they're like doing whatever the fuck they want to do, but they're still working, bro. Yeah, you know and, and then like yeah. that dude that, was, that measured time, me, he's like young, like Phillips' age. I wonder if that's a lost trade one day, you know? Oh, like, yeah. like are, are people like young, his age trying to learn this? No, I mean, we see the young Paisa guys them, dude. Uh, down in the in oh, the, the MS13 looking fools. Yeah, right there in the fashion district in downtown LA. Yeah, they'll make your alleys. And there's a couple of spots that are better than the other spots, of course, because of experience and. But I think if you they're all young men in their twenties, I think people they're always being needed, and and they might be more expensive in the future. It'll be hard to find because yeah, it's gonna be hard to find because there aren't people who can measure you and. You know, mark yeah, up a suit nice and then follow a pattern. Like, but it was it was like not all in one. It was way cheaper in Lower East Side than it was to get it done in downtown Los Angeles. But if, if young people knew like that skill right there, oh, you can like, make cra- crazy money. You're going to be in demand. You can charge yeah. whatever you want. Yeah, I remember when the first time <laughs> I got a suit there, that that little cholo showed up, bro, and he had a he had a, a he opened up his arm. You know, I'll tell you, take out a knife, but he had a. Yeah. His arm had three types of scissors, and it had a bunch of string and needles. Yeah, and then, then he was ready, bro, to cut them off, fuck on, sew them back together. <laughs> and then that little little piece of white chalk or whatever they mark yeah. it with, it's crazy, uh, uh, bro. People that do the pattern making, yeah. stuff like that. What's up, fool? So Lisa traveled on Delta One, right? I love Delta One. I never heard of Delta One, bro. My God, have you gone to Delta One yet? No, not yet. Delta One. You heard of it? it? Yeah, yeah, but it's uh, it's like right next to like, Air Force we, One, right? We no. <laughs> <laughs> we splurged because it was our anniversary, ninth anniversary. Congratulations! So. Was hitting that. The, did, did we make the one O? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Whoa. Um, yeah, so we we uh, so we go to you go. No, oh, uh, that's right. You're already in in uh, New York from uh, uh, Austin. So I went to uh, okay. So at LAX, the w- Delta One, it's like above. What the hell? Okay, go ahead. Just go ahead. It was above first class. It's like better than first class. You enter in a different place this is not the lounge it's this a is, tunnel right it's, it's on the arrivals level the bottom yeah. level and uh it's like terminal three right so you go into the end of terminal three the arrivals level and there's like a doorman like a club so they like rub your like, feet what? right there <laughs> what the heck like, 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 no, like, no, like but they bouncer? came out to my car the they came out to, the man. <laughs> i got an uber there and they came out to the car they the guy ran like quasimodo over like and picked up <laughs> all my bags did a hump yeah <laughs> well, he was like moving like he had one and then he he went in the, then he, the we, Igor, we went Igor in homie. i never saw my bags again i was like okay and then I, I checked in. There were two old people in front of me. And I was like, what is going on here? It's Christmassy, Christmas lights. And then the woman said, it was 4.30 in the morning, by the way. It was 4.20 in the morning. She goes, uh, Can I light that blunt? She said, she said um, I'm sorry. We have our own TSA here, but they don't open till 4.30. So if you want to oh, have a seat. Early. So I was like, okay. So it's like a lounge in there, right? And But they have their own TSA. So I had a little bottle of water. I wanted to have champagne, but I didn't want to be that lady at 4.30 in the morning. So I yeah, went back to the TSA, and it was two people in line, took my picture, scanned my bag. That was it. And I went up to the elevator, and I got out, and it was the the lounge there for Delta, and I had some breakfast and stuff. But it was class. It was like yeah. I felt like I felt like royalty, man, Delta One. And those beds lie back flat too. So I was, I was on I was on Spirit Airlines. Man. I got up to use the restroom. <laughs> Somebody took my seat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hair's all frayed, huh? It was. Where's my wallet? Dog? So <laughs> nice. the pilot has it. it. <laughs> and then we went from London or from New York to London. We it was went a, first a class. Six hour flight, right? Yeah, we only went, six hours. That's right there, bro. Well, you're going from New York, though. Yeah, because you're at the edge. From yeah. New York, bro. You gotta, flying you, over you the gotta, You gotta get the layover, bro. It was supposed to be seven, but it was like five and forty-five, five hours. The wind was, it was really shortened. I was like, quick. "Wait, I got another movie to watch." It was, <laughs> it was so nice. It was really nice, but we were looking at each other in a weird way. We were yeah. configured in a strange. Oh, you way. get all cross-eyed at the end. We huh? Yeah, we weren't c- together. He's across the aisle. Where and are he was you, like, dude? he acted like I didn't exist. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, he was. I was like. Hello. <laughs> and he, oh, and by the way, the we, didn't, we didn't. We didn't. We, 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 we didn't know it then. But um, at the air- airport in uh, New York was the last time we were going to have filtered brewed coffee. Coffee. Why would happen? Uh, that, you're going to get rid of it? Because you can't get it in Europe, in England, nowhere. Really? It's Americano only. It's only a special Oh, I love drips or... too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is a drip, fool? <laughs> you need that a drip, fool, man. I can't uh, have that, espresso That fool order, order me a drip coffee. Hold on, bro. A I was like, what do you got, chlamydia? What the fuck is a drip, A man of culture, homie. chlamydia? Jose Valdez jerks off in your coffee. You know, like, you know, you get the drip or, you know, whatever. So we're on the... um, Chlamydia? We're on the... That's my aunt's name. When we're on the plane, bro, it was already like the lady had a British accent. Hello, mate. Really? They would have sucked that she had a southern accent. You going to London. Yo, man, welcome. Come up, man. Here we go, man. On behalf of our whole English. So, man... London-based. Customs was fast in Los Angeles, in, uh, in Heathrow because they just go by looks, you know, like, you know, by, <laughs> by profi- look. Profiling or, when you got or, to no, London? Or, or said, by heat. He just said you don't have anything to declare, and then they pretty much yes, let you go through. Yes, we hope there's coffee. <laughs> so know, dude, we passed, coffee. we got to London already, and as soon as we got there, bro, we saw those little London cars, the ones. Awesome. Awesome power style. The Mini what? Coopers. They were all oh, like shit. they were kind of like the you know how the PT Cruiser looks like the old bomber car look yeah. kind of forties car looking thing. Wow. We saw the double deck, double decker uh, buses. Yeah. The was the cool. the steering wheels on the opposite side. Oh yeah, bro, it was weird. I was annoyed because I had a bunch of stupid emails coming in that I had to deal with, so I couldn't really look at the 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 life happening outside. I was annoying. What, what what's the time uh, difference? Eleven hours. Uh, no, eight hours from to, New York. From New York, no, from LA to London, and then nine hours from LA to Amsterdam. Wow. I'm talking about time difference. No, from yeah. New York to no. uh, England, it was. No, because right now, what time is it right now? Like what nine? 
Nine o'clock. So over there right now, it's, Amsterdam is it's nine hours seven a.m. Seven, seven a.m. What? You're it? almost a whole complete day. No, it's day. five a.m. over there. How, what time is it in London right now? Or see. Amsterdam? Amsterdam at six a.m. London is five a.m. You can say we. Time in Amsterdam is five uh, six in the morning right now. And London. London is five a.m. Five a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I thought it was 11 hours ahead. That's just the time. That was the flight time from Amsterdam to home was 11 hours. Oh, so when you got on the yeah. way back, you didn't yeah, stop in New York. Yeah, didn't stop. So no, how long was, ten, how was, how was that it flight, ended up only being 10. It was Cabin great. Cabin fever. I was sleepy as fuck, so it was good. We okay. We watched, I watched That movies. is a long-ass flight, oh, bro. Long. We I had thought, like bro. three nah, meals. Nah, fuck that. Who gives a fuck? Let's go, dog. They gave like three meals. It's longer if you're angry, I guess. Yeah, fuck that. Dude, I love flying, dude. I don't know what, dude. This, dude, I love the takeoff, chill. I walk around, all fuck, dude. It's tight, dude. <laughs> I don't walk hey, around. What's up with that big ass leg, sir? I gotta go to the restaurant. <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I trip out when we're like on a I love flight. That shit, dude. When I'm on a flight for like four hours, I fall asleep. I think I'm done, <laughs> and then I wake up. There's like three more hours left. Like, what the fuck, dude? Now, Felipe says he wakes up after being asleep on the tarmac, right? And then you're still. On oh, the dude, sometimes we do, dude. <laughs> yeah. I thought we leave, and it's like, dude, we're still. You're all sweating and shit. Yo. I thought we landed. Oh, I remember. Yeah, we had What's another hour for a drink. Dude. Dude. When we got to London, we st- we were staying at the um at the um, Scotland Yard Great Hotel. Scotland Yard. You guys didn't get a pipe? It used to be a police yeah. station in, in back in the day. Yeah, used to be the headquarters of Scotland They're Yard. They're the ones that never cut. Right there, bro. No, that's Amsterdam. They, that's Amsterdam. They never cut Jack the Ripper, Look for fool. Scotland Yard Hotel. Great, and the Stripador, homie. You got to wait for us, mate. Little and narrow ass streets. It all looks like Jack, uh, Jack the Ripper. Fuck yeah, that's badass. I can't point it. Jack the Ripper kills the Yeah, it looks like those little crooked streets. You guys are in Sweeney Todd or something, huh? That's what it felt like. Which was a place that says world famous fish and chips. Hey, That's fool, it right there. you guys go right there where the governor was? The governor. Hello, I'm the governor. Yeah, we're staying right there, bro. And there's a the bar is, is named after the these female gangsters called the... The, the 40 the, elephants. The 40 elephants. When, when were they gangstering? What the During fuck? The 20s. The 20s? Yeah. yeah. They were. Switch I guess there was a time when the uh, the men were not working. There was no uh, God employment. Up. No, there was no Good employment times, guys. for the guys. So the women were doing like th- stealing, and and they had like. You know, and they were good. They were because they were quiet, and they kept it all on the down. Right or they, die, yeah, dude. They didn't really like yeah, the bar was named after the gangster. Look it up for the, the bar in uh, their great Scotland Yard. Forty Elephants Bar. Yeah. And they have a lot of f- fucking fancy ass drinks, bro. That was cool. I wanted to try stuff I never had before. That's what I'm so they made their own. They were. I swear that guy was Irish, but he said he's Italian. The bartenders were both Italian, but they um. Right there, after that's, that's her right they there. They had some fancy drinks, man. Oh, and then like they had something with champagne foam. Yeah, like I made a else? champagne foam like and put this, it on like, top. Rum drink. Oh my god, it was so. That good. sounds good. It was like a citrusy rum drink, and then the champagne oh, foam. And then the guy, the um, <coughs> the the bartender said, "Now we we have a speakeasy too, that's uh, just for the hotel guests and whoever is invited, I guess, who knows about it." And we like the lady took Lisa, and she opened this wall. It, it was like yeah. a bookshelf. And it just went right in, bro. Like, you could just disappear. It was another bar. Did you go in there? Did yeah. I show it to you? Okay, yeah. It was another bar. It's all like eyes wide shut, huh? That was like a whiskey bar back so, then. So. Fidelio. Um, Wait, they had a speakeasy? The England also go through, uh, what's it called? Uh, prohibition? Prohibition? No. no. I don't right? know about prohibition, but, but they, they probably had like secret, to part- yeah, like They s- want to party longer than yeah, whatever yeah. it is yeah. they're allowed secret to. Secret private bars, yeah. Pubs and shit. You guys, uh, do you guys try fish and chips? Chips, no. No. chips, nothing. I didn't How about but, oh, right next door though, the famous one? Yeah. Really? You guys go down where Morrissey's from, King's no. Road. No, no we, we went, went to where, where um, camp, where, uh, where that girl's Amy from, Every Winehouse, Winehouse yeah. neighborhood. Oh, that shit, dude? Badass. Cool. For like Berkeley, bro. I want to spend more time there next time. For like Berkeley, more like Berkeley That's there. Cool. Really? Yeah. And Seattle, cause they had a lot of. Badass record store, bro. We had bro. the best yeah. Chinese food over there. Really? In Camden, vegan, man. yeah, vegan badass. Food. It was bro, I have vegan. Bomb. They had vegan duck. They had vegan duck. They had they uh, this fish and chili sauce, and it was like sl- thinly sliced fake fish. It was so good. Better than the spider Norwalk, what's it called? Uh, yes, way better than really. Pots and, and most of the cannabis even though pots and was, was sold great, at, in um, that neighborhood. <laughs> oh, so you, so you so you're good with smoke out there and everything. It yeah, that hard, place. It was harder in London though. But it was harder in London. Except uh, Stina hooked Yeah, you Stina. Up. She knows people in London. Through a friend. Hell family yeah, dude. But Camden was easier if you 
for people who like cannabis and other stuff. Mm-hmm. But we ordered um fast food. We ordered fast food. We ordered um McDonald's. McDonald's. No. No, their own like that's vegan, um, that's, in, um, that's in um Amsterdam. Amsterdam. That's so House of Rice. Is that like a poutine or what? What is it? Oh what is that? God, that's that's Take up the fries? <laughs> What's it called? That? Bro, that's a place you went to every day? This bro, that Amsterdam. place, House of Fries. Give me two, bro. See the top, the top part? That, that's fucking peanut sauce, bro, like you see on chicken satay. Yeah. That shit's good. All right? That's garlic so, mayo. And then the garlic mayo, and, the, and, and then oh my God, the, the middle part so is fucking <laughs> um, spicy ketchup, bro. That looks good. Bro. Let me they tell you, bro, all sorts of spices, that's a but... medium, bro. <laughs> that so it's super hot? No. no medium size. size. Oh, okay. No. Aventi. But the, oh, damn. That looks okay. like small, that was bro. small right and there. Right there, that's Re- oh, Rembrandt's that was... Park where the Rembrandt to hang out at. I don't know if he hung out there. Wow, there statues there. That's where he drew. <laughs> See, Rembrandt, bro. He <laughs> sketch right here. After them for them. I don't know who those people are, by the way. <laughs> I just took a random <laughs> photo. Nobody would get here. out of the way. Yeah. I just want to get the fuck out huh. of the way. Tag me, bro. How do you say <laughs> get the fuck out of the way in, <laughs> in Dutch? <laughs> no, nobody there was Dutch, I don't think. Around the corner. Well, that's a nutcracker. <laughs> around the corner of that area, yeah, it's, it's fucking, um, it's all um, Little Italy. Oh, it, oh, yeah, that's right. But that's not where we ended up going to have food, is it? No, but it was all, it was that place was called Cinnamon. Oh, yeah. But dude, it was a man. But the House of Fries, okay, so there's a place in New York years ago that I used to go to called Pomme Frite. And it was a a place started by a travel agent friend of a friend. And you could go there and buy a cone, a paper <laughs> cone of fries, three different sizes, and they had like fifteen sauces. You know, hot sauce. They had a chipotle sauce. They and had like a that curry. Right there? Yeah, and they put whatever you wanted on there. Each sauce was like fifty cents, right? And ketchup and mayo, basic ketchup and mayo were free. But I always got like peanut, like the war sauce was peanut sauce, onions, and uh, I think spicy ketchup or something like that. But I used to get um, curry and sweet chili sauce and all that stuff. And so there's this. Pl- we never went to the one in New York with him. But then in Amsterdam, there were these House of Fries that said they were started in like the 80s, right? So this must be where his friend, my friend of a friend, got the idea back in the day. I'm bringing that here to but LA, bro. That's what I'm going to ask you. I Nobody want, does that over here at I, all? No. When I at met all? you, what did Look I say? for the sauces, Philip. One of the first House things I said to you was I, wanted, I always wanted to open a fry place like yeah. this place in New York. And then finally, I got him to Should try him good, in Amsterdam, dude. this house of fries. I ate there every day, bro. He ate there every day. Really? He loves it. Was that good? The they're fries good. are like, they're cut perfectly. Well, the fries, are, they fry them, they, they, they boil take them, them out, yeah, and then they fry them and again. And they fry them again when you're ready, Double like to fried. order. There they so go, they're look. like pre-fried. That's where you get that mad crisp. But softness inside. They're so What kind of sauce do they have, Philip? Because sometimes you don't have crispy ass fries out here. And none of them were duds. There wasn't one dud in the What are the sauces, Philip? Unless you get McDonald's fries, but you know oh, what they no, do to you, right? Sauce. McDonald's fries are bomb. Mm-hmm. Barbecue, buffalo ranch, blue cheese, where, where is House this? Fries? House of fries. In New York? House of fries in this Amsterdam. Is New York, though. Oh, that's, in New York. Okay. that's the New York location. Because I was like, they don't have blue cheese in Amsterdam. Yeah, because even with that cone, do they add meat to them? I think there was one that you could get like stacked <laughs> versions where you could have fish on them. And then another one was like burger meat, I think. Mm. But yeah. But Imagine a chili so cheese. Good. I still want to open oh one. Gosh. I think so I we went now. Um, we went now. Um, yeah. We were in um, a bike riding in in, um, in London. Yeah. We got we rented these bikes, and we went to this place. I was so scared. It's so hard to ride over there. Bro, it's we so were fucking this. confusing. Bro, they, they have a bike. Oh my god. Bro, London time. and Amsterdam probably have the biggest bike lane in the whole wide world. Really? <laughs> they have a light just for bikes and a light for the cars. Oh, what? And the bikes allow to go anywhere, bro. They have the right of way before bikes, pedestrians yeah, and in cars. In Amsterdam, they seem to have the right of way over all people. We went and to this walkers, place in uh, we went to this place in London where we were doing our bike rides and um, that place still had artillery shells from fucking World War II. Like, everything bomb, around there was all yeah. bombed the fuck up. But these metal, these lions that they had there had big old fucking holes. Mm-hmm, and the bases. Yeah. Because yeah. isn't there the a statue. big ass like um, in uh, Amsterdam, like a, I guess a parking garage, but nothing but bikes or like like 12,000 bikes and you can go in and rent them and go as you, oh, maybe. Come as you go or whatever. Maybe. Like we didn't even, hardcore bike we didn't even try. We could have. Amsterdam to me, the moment we got in the cab from the airport I, or from the train station, because we took a train from London to Amsterdam. Oh, that was the bad, moment, dude. When we went to London, we took a train from London 
Actually, yeah, from London all the yeah. way to fucking Amsterdam, and it's we passed. Three hours, which is nice. We passed France and Belgium. Yeah. See, Brussels. I'm going next. How was it? And that's why they call it train ride. Bad it's nice. right. mostly through the world. And that's what they call Eurotrip, nice. right? Because you can, yeah. uh, I heard that the whole this size Euro of Europe star, uh, is smaller train. than uh, the United States. You, you, can, you heard this? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, no, because I mean, you can, you can, so actually, told you, me. you can actually drive. <laughs> you can drive. You can drive, little through, rumors. You can drive from Spain, England, and I mean, yeah. Germany, because it's like, yeah, yes. it's smaller I than the United States. You don't need a passport. To the first time I saw that, the first time I saw that was on the episode of Lucy, bro. Yeah, I don't know. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Um, when you're on a free on a train, you can see like mm. all the graffiti from Brussels, mm -hmm. Paris, um, uh, 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 Paris, right? Uh, we didn't hit Paris, Not but, Paris, but France, um, Belgium, yeah, yeah. and all the little towns all the way till you get to um, Amsterdam. So it's like basically like like driving through states. That's yeah. how small yeah. it is. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And then some some part of like Bakersfield in France. <laughs> yeah, really? Ten, except greener and greener. Rush, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so we get to uh, Amsterdam, and right when we get in the cab, I just felt like I was home. I felt like there was something there at that in that city. That she had wooden shoes. <laughs> Twenty three and me, bro. Yeah. I have I'm four um, <laughs> percent Netherlands, right? Four yeah, yeah, yeah. percent or Norwe Welcome back Norwegian, home. I should say. Only four percent. But yeah, I, that's our view from our hotel room we'll in see? Amsterdam. Yeah, that's our view, bro. Yeah, that's <laughs> cool. It was great. We had a. Um, a canal on one side and a canal through the bathroom on the back side wow. too. And it was just I want to stay on a riverboat next time. We're gonna our houseboat. And Actually. how was it with like you know when they say the treatment of Americans? Americans are all like dumb and they don't understand. I think if Everybody you're dumb and cool. don't understand, then you're gonna get treated a certain. Oh, bro, let me tell you, man. One, but one no, thing, everybody's cool. I, oh, yeah. I I don't know why I read this. Before We've been talked to everybody. I, I don't know why I read this before I got there about um, Amsterdam, and I'm glad I did though. All the floors are uneven, bro. Like the ground. their floors <laughs> are like a thousand years old. In like Mexico, bro. Huh? Yeah. so if you walk, you you could twist your ankle, it's bro. Be, uh, yeah. Easy, bro. Maybe. It's not made for a guy that over two seventy, bro. <laughs> hey, you need to walk good. You can't be fucking pretending like you're gonna walk a straight narrow, bro. If you walk in, you'll be walking straight, and all of a sudden it dips down. Yeah. Some strong ass ankles, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. I didn't, I didn't see too many fools big like me walking around. <laughs> They're all in cabs. <laughs> Yeah, dude, look, look at that fuck the, fuck the floor. Oh, and sometimes, bro, you don't see a car coming, and you walk the street for a, hey, this guy on a bicycle, bro, going 35 <laughs> miles an hour. They told me to fuck off in four languages over there, bro. Like a mean road rage, huh? On a bike, fool. Explaining the laws as he leaves. You know, he's all mad. Fuck it, I'm going to get my license. I'm going to stay. Bro, when I, we went to this place called uh, Smokies. I gave you that place, Philip. Look it up. It's on your um the, the this this coffee shop. All the coffee went to a, a coffee shop, and you go there, bro, and you buy your your weed, and then you sit down, and a waitress comes and she offers you coffee, espressos. It's all espresso, non alcoholic, or cappuccino, beer, by the way. beer and coffee. cakes. No lattes. But there, no. look, look, yeah, there. Need a latte, but I don't want any fucking latte. But I just no want a coffee. But no regular black coffee. I want a regular there. black coffee, and I can't get it. I can't get any satisfaction the whole time, man. Hell yeah, right there, man. What's there's up a with couple that? times yeah, there's, right oh there, my God, man. that looks a horrible angle. I look like a 50-year-old uh, gangster <laughs> lady or something. Oh my oh, God. That's switchblade. <laughs> my, my blood, bro, is all right to that joint. I, have, I put like a, two strings of hash so in there. So you can roll up your own or you can have them roll up. Could you walk you? on the street and smoke it or only in there or in designated areas? I think area? you're supposed to only, only really in keep it so in there. So it's made for can. Oh. I mean, but you still, could, you may but yeah, it's really not cool to do it. I don't think. So you gotta be proper with it. Yeah, you can't. You can't smoke. Manners, you can't you smoke know? blunt blunt like else. blunt wraps. Yeah, they they have a section for tobacco in the front toward the outside, and then non tobacco. Yeah, because I saw this. Really? I was sitting next Just to a guy tobacco? from um, in the front. Yeah, or was, or blunts. I was sitting next to a guy from Saudi Arabia. Like backwards. And and then Egypt. Lisa, they were from they're from Egypt. Egypt. Lisa, man, what was that smell? And go, that was pure hash and tobacco. Cause that fool put all his hash, the, the whole gram, he like he cut it up and he put all tobacco and he rolled it up. What it and, smell and, like, and, man? Like pure fucking hash. <laughs> hey, did you guys see yeah, a hash, hash pipe out there? Get, yeah, they had them. What do they look like, fool? Just a regular metal, pipe, a metal. Metal pipe, yeah. Fuck, I've got the hash. homie. But uh, and then all the bathrooms were real narrow, man. Like. We should have bought a little pipe for him. Why didn't buy look, look anything for the bathroom. at all when we were there? 
the, the graffiti bathroom. I bought video. special Takis for my son, yeah, and that was it. Supposedly <laughs> out there, they have the real hash pipes. Out here, they have them, but they're not. It's just a regular pipe. They, they also um, they're a little longer. I psychedelic think. mushrooms are legal over there. Truffles, truffles, are not mushrooms. What's the difference between a truffle and a mushroom? Uh, truffles, I think they grow underground, but they're not mushrooms. But they are a, t a type of fungus, and they do have the same properties. But years ago, I think it was like '87 or late '80s or early '90s, they outlawed um, mushrooms specifically, hallucinogenic mushrooms, because somebody had gotten hurt or a couple of people had gotten hurt or because of somebody's behavior uh -huh. but it was Van just Gogh cut off his ear yeah like yeah, it was bro. isolated incidents because somebody was an asshole you know it's like two or three things that made everybody go okay we're gonna They're legalize we're gonna um, ban <clears throat> mushrooms so they put a ban on mushrooms only not psychedelic other things they didn't put a ban on the psychedelic mm. stuff so people came up with, oh, we could do truffles like this. And everybody's like, That's oh, crazy. okay. So supposedly they have the same properties, maybe even stronger, but we didn't try them. But they have smart shops. That's what they're called. Like weed shops or coffee shops. Mu truffles places are smart shops. And then weed shops or coffee shops? Lisa yeah. Budden, when we were in London, um, it's a different type of power cord for the, for the outlets. The adapter. The adapter is different over there. And so is, and Amsterdam is different too. So she tried to plug in her curling iron, man. <laughs> My a burn, dog. It melted. It melted. It got so hot. It, it, it fell apart. So both, both, uh, even Amsterdam and uh, England has different? Different. They're different. I had wow. one for London only. And I put it in there and I put my curling iron in and boy, I don't know if the wattage was too high for that thing or what, but it was fucking fried. That's crazy. I, pu I pushed the clamp on my curling iron. It just went like... <laughs> I don't know. Damn. It's fun though. Amsterdam was great. Was cool. I, I could move oh, there. Oh, we were there. A house there. That was by our, that 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 that, that right there's right sixteen hundred something, bro. Yeah. That place. Still it's like a drawbridge for the little river. Yeah, I think they had. They used to control the little bridge. It has a real estate over there. Is it expensive, like here? Or no? I haven't looked really. Did we look at apartments for rent? Oh, look! You were right there. Everybody from that boat got off with their bikes. Like people just ran out of that boat with their bikes. That's where we got on the train, right? Yeah. A lot of fat people are like r rarely no fat people. We don't see any fat people. Damn. They just, just ride bikes they just all just gotta hand, You got to hand out bikes over here, huh? Oh, dude, it's so funny how we don't even ride bikes. Bikes huh? and walking. walking. There's like walking. cars. It was hard to get an Uber. It was easier to get a cab. We went to this museum in Amsterdam. Is this like a boring slideshow for everybody? Is this okay? Yeah. <laughs> we went to a museum in Amsterdam. So that Banksy, saw that Banksy one stuff. That was cause. And then it's just like a. Stephanie was there too today. Yeah, Stephanie yeah, posted yeah. some stuff. This was the kaleidoscope. We saw Banksy stuff. What's the artist? That, uh, the That's artist Banksy that was right, right now there. with the like the Mickey Mouse one. That's cause. He's from oh, Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw that uh, that big statue. Where the fuck? C A W. Vegas. Right. Right. We saw it in a uh, Vegas. Mm -hmm. Not Vegas, bro. It was, we're close by Canada, Michigan, I think. Oh. Detroit. Yeah, that's well, right. Yeah. He had, there was a big one of those bunny things. Yeah, I remember. It was fun, though. We had a good time. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That, looks so cool. <coughs> that place, I, the name doesn't even come out there. It said Coffee Shop Reefer. Yeah, it's called Coffee Shop Reefer. What a waste of photo. I didn't even look at this thing until now. <laughs> what a letdown. <laughs> oh, well. Whatever. We went to the red light district. And there's like, there's like um, some of them, not too many. Only a few left. But it was weird, know. bro. Look at like drunk ass fools acting stupid. Like oh, yeah. there, was a, there was like this hot chick in the mirror right there. And this guy passed by just go in front of the mirror like this. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, man. like they're. Like a pervert. Yeah. They, didn't, they tried to walk up to one and she said like no. But I think a lot of these women don't need to do that oh, like, anymore. They're just doing OnlyFans now. You know, yeah, yeah. if they can do OnlyFans and make a living, they don't need to see clients or as many clients it's a tradition you right? know or yeah there, get, there are fewer though over there they say the we didn't one. see that many we ate some bomb ass in, uh, vegan indian food oh man god, it was so good you know and that's what that bro butter chicken oh my gosh so good chicken tikka masala bro but it was tofu good. and it, it tastes exactly it was red like i told him earlier and god. then the sag the um bro so when we got to Rotterdam, when we got to Amsterdam, we checked into the hotel room, and we kicked back for a little while, no time to smoke, no time to do nothing. We just took a quick shower, 
and we went to Rotterdam, bro, back on the train for an hour to Rotterdam. And that's from Amsterdam to Rotterdam? Yeah. An hour? We, we passed Rotterdam on the way to Amsterdam from from in London. So we get to the show, fool. Guess who's there, bro? <laughs> Cheerleading before I got there. Jimmy Del Valle. Oh, my God. <laughs> Out of nowhere. He's a, he's Jimmy a, and Joey, the he, missing Joey. Shout out to Jimmy Del Valle. He was there with, on his anniversary, oh, too, sad. bro. Yeah, his 20th anniversary. 20th anniversary, bro. God Whoa, damn. 20. I didn't even know he was married. Bro, he was time. luckily he was there, bro. There was no opener, no nobody. It was just yeah, me we, on the show. That's why I'm here, Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know what to do, bro. Cause he was supposed to do the eight thirty show, my show at six, so he thought it would be the same audience. So um, I had seventy people paid. So oh, yeah, dude. there was a lot of Latinos on that show, bro. There were some people at that show who saw me in Montreal. And are they from there? That They're guy from was there. from Belgium, that guy. That guy from yeah. Belgium, bro. Brussels. And, and they have an accent too? Like yeah, like accent. like a European like yeah. a an, wow, that's crazy. I got recognized by some dude in um at the when I went to go to the nutcracker, he said hit a beard, he said big fan, big fan, mate. <laughs> there it is, bro. <laughs> They're very down. polite, bro. They don't Boy. like scream on and laugh. Right What's up, man? I'm gonna try to start a fight after the show. No, we're not yeah. gonna be like this. Really they didn't let like the George Perez show where people are fighting in the back hallway <laughs> while you're on stage. That's Marcel. That fool booked oh, me. That's the worst picture. <laughs> he booked me. At, he booked me back in the day, bro, to do a show in 05. He looks like Gary Oldman, huh? Yeah, man. So he does. next time, See, maybe I want to go. Let me know. Shit, I'm down, dude. Yeah, Just do a quick go, yeah. do a quick spot and then head out to Amsterdam. Bro. That sounds cool, man. Man, Rotterdam it's though food, might be cool so. to stay in. Rotterdam, show show Rotterdam how it looked during World War Two. Well, that's not interesting. Okay, I mean, bro. But... See, <laughs> decimated, bro. The All, same. That's what that's Rotterdam during World War Two. Basically, got rid of they, their city center. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred no yeah. pounds of bombs, bro. <clears throat> and see that church so is, the, day, is huh? the only thing that stood there now. Show show them now, Philip. It's all modern now. Shit. And bro, they, uh, nothing against people, Rodermanians, but they talk about it like it was yesterday. I mean, that was like eight years. That was like eight yeah. years ago, man. They do. They yeah, they talk they're, about World War Two like it was yesterday. Even people who weren't born back then. Yeah, they weren't like, even born back like there. They're like they're like yeah. and, and, and they they let you know city. right now, man. We're not Amsterdam. We're Rotterdam. Yeah. But what the fuck it was you cool heard? Because there was this houseboat motel on the way. When we were walking to the coffee shop and then going to go to the train set, the train station, there was this motel. It was like maybe eight rooms, right? Yeah. And each one you enter on the street level. But then if you look down, it's actually a houseboat and it's in the water. And you can see the portal to the bedroom at the bottom. So the top is like the living area and the bedroom is at the bottom. That was a cool little hotel. I want to stay there next time. And what's up with the Amsterdam and Rotterdam? Like it's part of the Netherlands or both part of the Netherlands? They're both Netherlands. Netherlands. But Holland, what yeah. is, are they different? Um, what's the difference between them? And why so do they? It's another city. It's uh, like L.A. and New York. Oh, so but they're just, they just tell you we're not them. Yeah, because like, they Korea, feel homie. like they have their own culture, their own attitude, you know. Like, but they got just like the New York same stuff. LA. They got marijuana too. Yeah. But he was cl clear to say, he was like, it's just like L.A. and New York. They're very different cities. But, you know, they're both big cities in the United States. So. Oh, yeah. yeah, but they were like, they talk about like being bombed, bro. Like, they'll tell the whole history. Oh, it was a yesterday. cool vibe. Uh, it was a cool vibe there, though. It was, I forget what the name of the street was. Like, Wheaton, 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 they're the on buildings. The street signs, the names. Oh, really? The, the street. street names. They're like on the side of the building. And it's like, what street am I on? And you cannot fucking tell where you really? are. That's the hard Why part. is that? Just because a, a pole will take up space where somebody can I stand? I don't even know. There's poles on the street. I don't know why there's not a sign on Maybe there. it's just the way it's been since. It's just like, yeah, yeah, it's like a, on the side of the CBS building. There'll be a CVS and on top of it is a street name on it. Like above on the it's, corner, it's weird. And, and like the app, everything worked perfectly out there. Like, I mean, when you guys order Uber or everything was pretty easy. Credit card, you just tap your card everywhere. But you lost a lot of money in the exchange. Well, uh, only if you're trying changing money. To euros. But yours, it's really not that different from euros. You know, it's a little bit like twenty cents more. I the, think well, the dollar is less over there. Right now, yeah. the dollar is weak as fuck. Yeah. It's less in oh, bro. Unless you you know, know how much the gas is over there? <laughs> you know how much the gas is? 
14 euros. In London. Yeah. A liter? Well, yeah. 14, in London, it was 14 pounds. Yeah. 14 pounds for a liter. Yeah. That's a lot. You know That's how much is that in money? In our in money? money? <laughs> 14 pounds. How much 14. is 14? It's about 14 eight, euros, Philip. $17, $16. Expensive something. just to drive your little car in that little yeah, aisle, huh? $17. $17. Yeah, bro. We're over complaining over here, bro. No, 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 no shut wonder, up, bro. No, everybody has bikes out there, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Everything, uh, and all the cabs were electric in, in, in England. Yeah. yeah. And then in, in London, um, the, the the you know how um, over here, you see the little man walking. It tells you it's a man, and it says walk. You know it's a man, right? Not and minor the, out there. Or? Well, yeah, it, it, they have the the the, the sexual logo. They oh, have. Wow. They had both male female logos. Which one was, has a pizza, uh, and one <laughs> doesn't have a pizza. Uh. Yeah. Like, it in London is it crazy how they say that all the migrants are beating up cops and everybody, or is it all bullshit? Bullshit, dog. I didn't see any of that. The whole world is catered to for Dude. Muslim people over there. There's a lot of Muslim people. Bro, McDonald's has five different vegan burgers. Yeah. Really? It was a cool place. There's so much diversity there. Like, that's that. I think, you know, I've always said this, but I think white people, it's important for white people to be in places where you are not the majority. You know, it's important for your, your, your. What are you talking about, bro? Personal growth. (laughs) But, like, New York, I always felt like that. Like, this is the way the world is. It's majority other, you know, everything else. And then you get to England. It's the same thing. It's like Muslim people. There's people from India. There's people from China. There's people from... That's how we grow up. We think the whole world's America. And yeah. It's not. <laughs> and it's really nice. No, no filter coffee. <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing? Next time I'm bringing my... Uh, Mr. Uh, coffee. We're bringing a coffee cup. Co- hey, so what's maker. up? Uh, or you, even a French press. There's no French you press. Can't, you can't America. send like one of those coffee shops, like maybe like a coffee maker or something, like here for Christmas? Yeah, nobody a buys it, I guess. Really? What's up with that? A couple of, the, really? Star- yeah, a couple of the Starbucks would make brewed coffee. The converter. Oh, fool. But yeah, it would be not all of them. Had we it. were uh, when we were in London. We went to this. We 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 kept asking, um, where where can we buy a, a lighter? We need a lighter, and um, we kept they kept saying to, at this place at this place, and we didn't know because the, the, they're they're giving a, a nickname for this place, and it's this place where everybody's making out. What's up with that? The train station. Oh, the train station. Oh, well, that was like the. It was like people were saying goodbye to their. Um, yeah, but, but they had a name for it. I but heard, no. Well, anyway, they had a funny name for it. Which I already forgot. The when we John's, get there, bro, bro mm-hmm. everybody's making out. Cause I guess everybody that has a date goes on different trains in that area. So they're saying goodbye, mate. And everybody's saying fist bumps, and they're all leaving. I think you're mixing up that with the area we were getting the car at the main train station, which was Kissin Park or Kissin Ride or something like okay, that. Okay, I thought the train was, station was called Kissin Ride. No, that was Kissinger at the main food. train station. <laughs> that was just the parking area where they pick up the cabs. So at that train station, man, we got, we got lucky and we found like a, a a vegan hot dog wrap. It was like an, a, a piece of bread oh, with yeah. a vegan dog in it. It was mm-hmm. dry. Dry as hell, though. <laughs> hit the spot, it's mate. Oh, lie. dog. We, we went inside. The, we went inside. We now. went inside the elevator. Was a drunk British guy, bro. Oh, he was fun. like, "Happy days." Hello, <laughs> lad. Dog. Was he was a gentleman, good. dog. He, he was like Mr. Belvedere when he was in his thirties, and uh, he was <laughs> happy, Belvedere bro. He looked like he just came out of the episode of the BBC Office. That's what alcohol's Proper, for. for Proper British. He just said, um, "You having what a lovely ho- about right there, having bro. a lovely holiday, huh? happy days." Oh, happy, <laughs> bro. He seemed like he was coming from an office Christmas party. Oh, so. Sounds so Five fancy, shots, <laughs> five beers. He's happy, bro. Still gonna bro. go home and do a home. Bro, I saw a lot of. Love that Happy shit, drunk motherfuckers, bro. Like, That's what it's all about, bro. Dude. Big old. F- had a good time. Everywhere we went, dog, they served tea, like a lot of tea, but massive breads, bro. Big fucking cakes. Massive the the cakes. fucking um, Starbucks, they had a Stroop and Waffle cupcake, bro. Bomb? Bomb. Stroop and Waffle inside and one on top. And they had a Biscoff muffin. The inside was mi- a muffin. Yes, Why'd they have them out here, dog. I don't know, bro. They're, they're feeding us crap over here. Weak, <laughs> bro. They had a they had a Biscoff muffin at Trash. Starbucks. <laughs> the inside was Biscoff butter, oh, wow. and the top was a Biscoff. And they had fucking slices of red velvet cake. Oh my god! But the best thing I had there, bro. I I I said I had to eat this. Fries. No, no, it was a, <laughs> that cheese thing. 
What cheese thing? That puffy cheese. It was called cheesy puff. It was like a grilled cheese. It was this fat. Cheesy toast. Look, look up che- London cheesy toast. It wasn't that special. You guys special. are making me hungry, man. It's what you just, think. It was just right. a cheese. It's what you think. You haven't ate cheese in years. It's just a thick bread with... Cheese, cheese whenever you want. <laughs> it was wow, just man. a thick bread with no, look, some, like, for spread. Starbucks of, cheesy toast. Uh, Starbucks. After them. <laughs> some shit just hits different, man. Yeah, dog. Yeah. This it was like a grilled was cheese, good, but like uh, a spread of grilled cheese. Some things are just made differently. I think uh, one of the Kim Kardashians <laughs> stole this idea, bro. <laughs> one of the Kim Kardashians. But also the also um bread has the less uh, sort of calabasas and the the tickle them to death, dude. But bread out there has less uh, <laughs> there added. There it is. Uh, yeah. Compared to the United States, you know, so oh, it's come unnatural. On. Is that it? I don't have my glasses. Um, kind of. I can't really see it. When it was that was just a fucking <sighs> grilled cheese. But it had like it's a. It's got like a smear of like cream cheese. Yeah, it on had it like a. It had like dried um cheese. cheese right there on top, <laughs> and the inside cheese. had cheesy like puffy cheese inside. Sounds extra good, cheese. Dude. Dog, it was fucking delicious. <laughs> on, what? I didn't feel. And you know what, dog? I thought that, I thought I was gonna die after I ate it, but I didn't. <laughs> it was just pure. He was worried. You know what, bro? Because really it was real cheese. Yeah, it's dude. not all the shit we have here. Hey, um, what's up with the lighters? Were they big lighters or different lighters? They were the, the same. same. They same. were hard to. F- oh, there it is, right there. No that idea. shit, bro. No. That's I, it. That's I, it. Is it. The cheese toast. toast that's, that's it, right there, bro. That bit, one in the bag. Okay. Yeah, it was exactly like that, bro. That the cheese more was smashed. like the cheese. It was more smashed. The cheese you opened that. up like that, and they had it had it open. Yeah, it was like the little cow cheese you open up, and then it had cheese on top of that, and then it was just melted, bro. Good. That looks good, bro. I didn't see all that. Me too, bro. You were too that's high before I got to the table. <laughs> oh, eating you when you were sleeping. It was already eaten. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, go to sleep, on <laughs> Crumple, crumple, you know, fast. Dude, I actually Creepin'. do the place called Crumples. Oh uh, hell yeah, dude. Crumples, hey, what's, yeah. what's that place that we went to? It was called Sweeties or something. Sweet. I don't know. Pat- Where was that, at, bro? Sweetie. Pie. <laughs> Sweetie pie. I, I want to say like. Sweetie pie. Fort Wayne? It was called Sweeties. They just was that, where you went with, uh, with fucking Homeboy? I Sweetie Pie. I just processed the receipt where did the other go? day. It was called yeah. Sweetie Pie. We went there like a couple of times. With Starbies? Maybe. Starbies. Uh, it was probably uh, Salt Lake. Man, but uh, we went to go see the, in, in England, we went to go see the Nutcracker. Whoa, the, the play? It was badass, the ballet, bro. The it was ballet. badass. It was very we good were all production. Dressed up, Is that where it's originally up? from, the Nutcracker? They were right there, bro, dressed up. It was at the Royal London Opera House. How long was it? Too long, and we left at halftime, so we left at the intermission. Oh, shit. <laughs> but we ain't going to crack the whole nut today, well, mate. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't get out to eat in time, and then we were, like, starving, hell, so dude. we left. But the place was uh, – it. we left after the first half and it, the first – or second act or whatever, but it was really cool and it was beautiful and it was snowing on stage and it was really nice. The sugar plum fairies were dancing. It was pretty. I totally forgot that's a ballet and they don't talk. I, Felipe, <laughs> Felipe's asking me at the beginning so nobody <laughs> sings. <laughs> they don't sing. I say, no, they're dancing. Can't they don't sing too. Gonna they're going to sing, like like sing and dance, dude. <laughs> <laughs> The orchestra was live. You know, usually I think when we see it in L.A., it's a recorded orchestra. There, I don't see anybody down in that pit. I try to look, and I can't see. That person playing the cello? I think if they were a live orchestra, they would introduce the orchestra, and then they would go down to the pit. Oh, man. So it's it from happens. Germany. When we were in that Rem Ram Park, I had a... No, it's Tchaikovsky. It's Russian. It's I had Russian. chocolate. Yeah, nutcracker. Hot chocolate. I had to have it, bro. Bomb? Remember the, the, oh, in Amsterdam? Hot chocolate. And Lisa asked, the, asked the lady for Cool Whip over whipped, and over. Whipped cream. I didn't she say didn't, Cool Whip. She didn't know what that lady didn't know what whipped cream was. So oh, puffy. It, no, she said, oh, foamy. <laughs> so what do they put on it? They call it foamy. No, it was whipped cream, but she oh, called it foamy. It's just a different uh, Bro, they call it. Put that they, shit on there. There was a place, a place over there what called Spanish Churros. What was it? A churro? Churros. Churros with chocolate? Hey, where did those Latinos come from that were in the Netherlands? What, like... Like from Spain there. or Every, from everywhere. Well, lots of Mexico? people come from everywhere, yeah. There's so many people from Spain, everywhere. Spain, Brazil, everywhere, bro. There's Venezuela. So many, yeah. Everybody's from everywhere. Mexico. Trying to survive. Ra, ra, ra. While we're staying yeah, there, we visa. had a guy we had a guy in our hotel, the concierge, who was uh, Dutch and that Peter. Peter. And it was he Peter. said he said, Nobody here is from Holland. He said, I'm from Holland, but nobody here is from Holland. So it's just like the whole LA thing. People are like yeah. being transplanted. Yeah. Yeah. It was transplants. But there are a lot of Italians in the service industry over there. It was cool. Yeah, from yeah. Italy. Yeah, yeah. me la pelas. 
I swear that guy, I thought he was Irish or Welsh. I said, I thought you were Irish or Welsh. He was a little squat little dude, a little squat face. I was, he did not look like any Italian I ever met or sound huh. like one. His huh. his accent was very thick. A lot of guy from Suriname over there. Suriname in Amsterdam. Really? Do you guys see any Mexican restaurants out there? Yes. It was called El Mexicano. Yeah. <laughs> they got to El the Mexicano, point, huh? Yeah. And, then, and, then, and there we was a vegan Mexican there, restaurant but... in London, but we didn't go. It was vegan Mexican? Yeah. I didn't know it was vegan. No, there was one in, in, in London. I looked it up, but we didn't go. I didn't hear about this one. <laughs> I didn't mention it, but there was one. <laughs> Ramitas, <wait. laughs> I, was, I was saving it for the conversation. <laughs> Holding out on me. And would you? What was the best thing in uh in uh London as far as the food? Just the uh, the the fries. The know. whole bike ride, I guess, because it's old. The, the Chinese place in Camden. That was bomb. Yeah. The Chinese place in Camden was good, bro. Like yeah. Dan Dan noodles. Yeah, it was vegan. Dan Dan spice. And then and then they, they have like a vegan f- fish, and it was cut real yeah, thin. That's what, yeah, that's what I said. It was good. Oh, but we went to a place called. Um, you would have liked it, bro. It was called Dutch Pancakes in London. Oh, man. And all they served was like real big ass pancakes like this. The thin ones? Those pancakes, the thin bro. ones, bro. Really but I, but they, they they got them in any flavor. So I ordered like a pizza. Like a, we ordered a hot Dutch. Hot Dutch. And it had like just cheese. There it is. It was like, like, like a, the Dutch babies then, right? Like Yeah, like, but we these were big. They were 15 inches. Gosh. And it was real thin like a crepe. And those then, are good. Those are fucking bomb. Yeah, I, dog. I missed the part where it said 15 inches. Mine, mine had it. vegan cheese and um, chorizo on top. Like really? It was this yeah. big, they bro. So savory. sweet and savory. savory. Then. Yeah, I didn't finish oh, it. Oh, my gosh. But the guy next to me, man, oh, my God, he had a bomb at one. It had eggs. It had Canadian bacon, bro, and all kinds of shit on it. So it's basically all the, like, you can put all the <coughs> breakfast meats yeah, on there. And, so basically yeah. they used it as a wrap to, instead of a plate, that sounds bomb. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, baby. but in New York, bro, I had a chopped cheese. The vegan chopped cheese. Bomb, bomb, bro. From vegan on the fly. Vegan on the fly. Vegan on the fly is a good little place. Good food. But for me, the fries, bro, I could eat the fries every day. I don't care. Heart attack in five years <laughs> after. <laughs> <laughs> bomb. Dude. Your your veins are gonna be fries, huh? <laughs> I, I eat like I, everywhere I went, bro. Like, oh, let me try that cake. I'll just take a bite. That's it. But they're a lot of, um, you check a, where they're, they're vegan on the fly. And what's up with the, in like London and the Netherlands, are, are they very heavy on teas? Way more than All coffee? tea, bro. All tea. All That's tea, crazy. bro. Yeah. Espresso, yeah. All tea and espresso, like, yeah, man. Like, like you, I got tired of espresso by the second day. I was done with it. I'm, I was like, this is not a novelty anymore. I just want my regular coffee, please. Do you get an OG London fog out there? Hell no. <laughs> But you Just did got, get a tea. When was where was that on the, the plane? The Dutch place. Oh, at the Dutch place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they give you cream, you know, and the whatever Dutch you want. Dutch place in London. Do people yeah. do people smoke a lot of cigarettes out there? Yeah, but it's hard to find cigarettes now. Really? Yeah, they had. A, I heard people trying to find cigarettes over there. That guy wanted a tip for telling you where it was. <laughs> this is a big ass dude from Suriname. He works the door at that place, Smokies. His name is Gregory. Oh, Felipe made fast friends with that guy. I made friends with a lot of fools, bro. I'm ready to go back. Hell yeah, dude. I got backup. The connects, homie. Yeah, I'm going to we have Rotterdam, man. It was fuck. It gets. It, it was, man, at seven in the, at eight in the, seven in the morning. It looked like nine at night in Amsterdam. Really? Yeah, it was. It so was foggy? weird. Or? No, it was I, it dark. Just stayed dark early. Days like, yeah, n- I don't know what it was, but in the morning. It stayed dark, and it was like seven o'clock, and I was like, my alarm would go off, and I'm like, I can't get up because it's pitch black outside. Yeah. And I'd p- poke him, and I was like, it's seven o'clock outside, but it's dark. And he was like, rrr, rrr. and then like eight o'clock came, and it was also dark. And nine o'clock, I finally like ten, the sun came out, or it was just bright enough. It was weird. It felt so strange. It was, I was in a dream. Do they do the whole daylight savings out there, or I don't even. I don't even know. For we went to a place I called. Guess not. I don't know. You know they have TJ Maxx. Oh, there's yeah. called something else. Oh, 
TK Maxx. I TK think. Maxx. Oh, oh shit, weird. dude. Weird. So my cousin. Good man, it was. I, 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 need, <laughs> I need a shoes, bro. Because I was like, I don't want to. For the I want, to, I want to look good for the cobblestone. <laughs> there it is. TK Maxx. I bought some. What I bought the? some shoes, bro. They're nice, man. European shoes. Yeah, they're black and like it's little just little beetle boots. Little beetle boots. I look. I look at the bottom. It just says London. Good <laughs> enough for me. And then um, I got um, fool. I got a, a coat, uh, like like a like a nice coat. To wear like over the suit, Sherlock Holmes, but man, bro. that motherfucker came in handy, bro. It kept me dry the whole time I was there, so it was more like a raincoat. And uh, what was the coldest? That's spot? it right there, that coat, bro. Oh, On cold. your trip, was the coldest spot in New York in uh, London? New York, and, bro. Yeah, New York was coldest. Europe wasn't even that cold. No, it was like fifty. It was like forty-nine, fifty the 49, whole time, 50. but not crazy windy. It but was it, windy one day and rainy in Amsterdam, but the rest you, of the time was manageable. Did you guys see the sun out there or no? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, a little bit. It just said what's up and left. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, um, every night, every every half hour, there's so many um, bells in churches in Amsterdam. You can hear them all. And then on Christmas, they all got together and played Christmas songs <laughs> uh. together. It's like Christmas songs. It was just a lot of chiming. I don't think it was a song, like S- special songs. Was synchronizing, it? homie. <laughs> yeah, man, but it felt cool looking at places where you saw on in movies, you know, like yeah. where you saw like James Bond running through the little streets. Mr. Bean, bro. Mr. Bean, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. You don't want to watch Mr. Bean Fuck Christmas. Mr. Bean. Oh, this is the best one, huh? Oh. Dude, Mr. Bean's fun. Cause Mr. You don't Bean need... Christmas, right? I like Mr. Bean's Christmas, but Mr. Bean, you don't need to know how to speak any language because fucking, it's all... Uh, I don't he's like... He's cool, and then after a while... Physical Panama. humor. I don't like physical humor. My grandma can me. watch Mr. Bean, you know, my mom, you know. <laughs> bro, She's tele- Grandma Bean. <laughs> television in Amsterdam. I'll get it off my screen. Horrible? Get Sucks. That off bro, television in Amsterdam, they have every channel <laughs> From every country, they're like, you know, like right here in, Amer- Dubai, in America, you have um, the Armenian channel sometimes, you know, BBC, you get it. BBC, BBC, maybe a lot of Korean TV, maybe uh, Iranian TV here, like K-pop. And, and Mexican TV, right? But over there, bro, they got Iranian MTV, yeah, Dubai, Dubai, Af- um, Afghanistan, they have Dutch. They got BBC. They have a comedy show, bro, that was just tripping out of that motherfucker. I was trying to, I was trying to. Get into it, but it was not funny to me, man. It was look it up for the Father Ted. Father <laughs> it already Ted. sounds not funny. Was a, there was another one with like a puppet, right, or a oh doll Oh my god, or that was weird, man. Eh? Thought it, I was tripping. Is Robert down where the like comedian? a mom and a son? That and a dude, who fool? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fool, dog. Oh my god, he's the lead of that show. He's like this funny priest, Father Ted. Oh my that's a Dutch show. <laughs> it was showing on the TV, right? Padrecito, padrecito, bro. <laughs> Oh my God! It's all for the episode of watching. Huh? <laughs> it was the episode of watching. He was all mad because they, they had a new a new priest. He was cooler, right? <laughs> he stole my stuff. That's, That's funny. funny, Fatherton, dude. Did you um? No, 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 the whole time, bro. You watch so much stuff over here, like Family Guy. And you expect everybody to have bad teeth over there, like in the show. Oh, the whole stereotype or. <laughs> You know, <laughs> bullshit little stories. But actually, everybody's super nice. Because don't they say if you're American, they're not even gonna talk to you. You just gotta walk up to them like and ask them right. Hey, man, may I ask you? C- c- may I ask you? Can you please tell me? May I ask you where the? May I ask you a question? And he goes, Oh yeah, oh. Yeah, you can't come walking up to somebody like they. Hey man, what's at up, the man? Theme park. That hey, Brit. Yeah. Like in America, theme park, it's a city. Yeah, like in America, you walk up to anybody like they work there, right? like in a carnival. Hey man, how do you get there? Hey, yeah, fool. Like, <laughs> hey, you just homie. gotta have some manners and be normal. Yeah, you gotta walk up to like a gentleman. Like I walk up to this guy, goes, "Hey man, can you please tell me where the thing is?" And that guy pretty much walked me there, bro. And you know what? I didn't, I didn't appreciate it as much, but we did speak a lot of English in. Uh, Amsterdam, you know, but I next. What other language you want to make up? eh? What? (laughs) What other language? No, I don't want to make up. I'm just saying, like, we we were lucky that people were accommodating over there and spoke English because you can say English or Dutch. They speak money, but they do. But they were they were really accommodating of it. But. Next time I'm gonna learn some Dutch because we have a new sponsor next Babel, week. Right? Babel, right? Babel. Got my oh, first lesson shit, tomorrow. Dude. What are you learning? Italiano. Italian. Monday, Tuesday, Mela, Wednesday. Mela, it's yeah. Just great. <laughs> Bable. <laughs> We're gonna hear some if more phrases. Bable. <laughs> Bable. <laughs> I said it so, in Portuguese, bro, homie. So <laughs> I've been learning Portuguese. <laughs> you went to um. You said you went to your father-in-law, your father for Christmas, and you said the, you were trying to like the food. 
Hey, well, I don't know. Oh, I don't he know. can't I talk about that. Hey, whoa, dude. <laughs> no, okay, I'm going to talk about it. It's a podcast, dude. I don't know You're the business not... to it. <laughs> yeah, I don't How was Hawaii, bro? How was that little fool over there? Oh, it was yeah, cool, you went to Hawaii. Is, is it like shrimp? Oh, dude, it was cool, bro. Giovanni, yeah. It was bad as fuck. I went to the other Giovanni's on the other side by Turtle Bay on the way out. Oh, nice. Dude. I, know. I, know. I know that one. Oh, bro. That's not the one that's it where everybody not goes, right? Not with all the trucks. It's you, all by you, itself. You went to the one that's by itself by the beach. Yeah, dude. That one's been there forever, too. Yeah, dude. It was fucking... It was good, bro. I, I, I always feel like uh, that one has more garlic, eh? more It butter. was way more garlic. Really? Dude. Yes, Because over there, it's always packed, so they got to hurry yeah, up. Fast. I couldn't yeah. stop sucking on that oh, shit. That's what she said. Hey, so in my London. God, bro. That shit's bomb, bro. Dude, <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, dude. And the way the garlic I was like, they closed, bro. I would have got another one, bro. I was like a zombie, they're, bro. They're there to close it. When I went to the lake, we were going on. Because we... Circumvented the island. <laughs> when I went there, man, we're, we're on our way somewhere else. And we got to go somewhere else. And I go, I don't, like, and I looked at them. I don't think where you guys are going is going to be better than this. Dude, and, it, and it's not, bro. That's better than all the little trucks. We went, no way. I remember we went to yeah. a restaurant. We waited to sit down. I remember that fucking trip was fast. Dude. Within, dude, within like seven to ten minutes, you have your And stuff, the way the, the rice soaks exactly up the, that the garlic bowl, Yeah, bro? that's it. Dude, and then, the dude, the rice, bro, and the macaroni yeah. salad. Oh, my God. Bomb, It's dude. glutton food, but whatever. It's glutton If you food. like to eat, bro. Fucking good. Yeah. Succulent, dude. You went better than all the <laughs> better for you than all the ma what is it malasadas? Oh, malasada, like, oh my god, that's good, I, man. I never really like tried them, dude. Like that. You didn't go this I time. I never tried no. malasadas. I'm not. I'm not really. Honestly, I'm not really into donuts. I'm, don't I know. Lie. I'm, no, I'm not. I don't. They're all right. Okay. You went to food, huh? But don't yeah, of course. Put, like, gravy, put some gravy in there. Heavy, just heavier stuff, right? That's. I mean, that's cool when you're savory seven, shit. bro. Yeah, you get a donut. Mom got me a donut. All the time. But check it out. Donut. So then I hit this fool up and he's like, what's the name of that place? Oh, blah, 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 blah. And then he fucking Letters. hit me with seven spots. Dude, I ate one of those. Oh, what flavor though? Ube. What guava? The guava one. The guava oh, one. Oh, my Ube. God, bro. Good, I could have stopped sucking on that <laughs> shit, bro. I just... I was like, <laughs> 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 I don't care who you put a straw in there. <laughs> she could be ugly, bro. You can just yeah. pour it on her, bro. That and that shrimp <laughs> stuff, bro. Uh, bro, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it was so good, bro. You went like to the big zit coming out. Dude, yeah. but it's just like the tastiest it's zit. It's good, on the, huh? Dude, <laughs> luscious, <laughs> bro. Good, bro. And you went like to you the, know what is it? Sweet as a peach. I guess that's a, you went to the Hawaiian Denny's too, Zippies. Yeah, but the, the only thing that's when I I, didn't, I was like, because dude, to me Hawaii is like being on a cruise. You think you're fat, but you go over there, everybody's fatter than you ten more times, dude. <laughs> so we went to Zippy. I was like, oh my god, bro. <laughs> Everybody was Hawaiian from all over the world, bro. <laughs> but uh, but it was good, bro. It's good. Like and Ella, and Ella, and Ella, and Zippy, not that many tourists go there, huh? No, it was more local fools, like more little local, family. Yeah. Dude, well, that little make, like spam and all that. Oh yeah, the little little fool running around, with little piece of spam. All the little kids all looking at each other, just eat macking fool. Make, they all wear sandals. Oh <laughs> dude, so they be kicking them off, like the sandals hanging off on the last toe, just kick it off toes. real quick. Wiggle your toes, scratch it on the side real quick on the pole uh, of the of the table. Bro, I saw this woman. She this woman shit. got hit. This, this woman was driving a Vespa. And I saw her crash into a car outside my window. Oh, and right. they started yeah, arguing. Saying, Who's going to fix oh. my damage here? The damage. Uh, that fool said, here's 50 bucks. You shut up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I yelled out the window. She does that every day. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, fool? She, then I went downstairs. There's a piece of crack of Vespa on the floor, her, bro. She just left it there. She just left it there. Grab she grabbed it, grab it, it dog. Yeah. We can believe it right here in the podcast. Evidence, I homie. saved it, bro. I told everybody Rem Rats. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, a lot. Of, I didn't see that many. Bro, I saw very polite homeless people, man. They ask you um, if you speak Dutch or English, and then when you say Dutch, they ask you for money in Dutch. Little international oh, so, yeah. so people. I held a cab, and then I told them no, and they got all mad, bro. Oh, they take that shit you all serious. Yeah, the cab huh? when I already had the Uber secured, and the they, guy did a U-turn to our on side, and I was like, "Why bro? you gotta tell him? We can't, can't cancel it." Thanks for telling me, mate. He said, "Thanks for letting me know." <laughs> <laughs> that sounded cool, but I want to get more people mad. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? We'll take it. Nah, not anymore. I want to hear. I want to hear more people arguing We're that so language. Old. That's like a guest spot in the Benny Hill show, bro. <laughs> for real, bro. I follow the Benny Hill show. That's the most angry he got. Thanks for letting me know. Dude, I would have <laughs> collapsed right there, dude. 
But I tell people, where you got from? I say, like, Los Angeles, California. What's the weather over there? Hot. <laughs> they what they so say, fool? They just go like this. Not like you, huh? Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, over here it's cold, man. Oh, yeah, man. It's going to be warm tomorrow. And then do a little joke, a little Celsius joke I didn't get. Everything was in Celsius, bro. No degrees, and it's like they don't use they don't, they don't use miles out there, right? They Kilometers. Degrees. They use degrees, but Celsius instead Celsius is of the most, uh, uh, Fahrenheit. Yeah. Or when you weigh yourself, kilogram. it's like different too, right? Yeah. But it it, it, it is smell like pee, bro. Like in the floor, <laughs> like they do over there in um, Seattle. It's nice. And, and it like rains they, a lot. That's why I feel. That's right. It's washed up. Yeah. You know they spray that shit. It off, rains dude. in Seattle too, though. Yeah, it rains piss by the house. I just felt like Amsterdam. I not so much London. I didn't care too much for London that like that. Camden was good, but next time we'll see. But Amsterdam, it just felt like this city like knows You're how to. You're very sm- slimy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like these people all agreed to live a certain way and follow like these oh, social rules. There, huh? You know yeah, what I man. mean? Like everything's got a little bit of art to it. Everything just for the sake of it. And a little grime, huh? It's just but, cool. It just everybody like nobody would go fucking suing the city because of the broken cobblestones. You know what I mean? They just get okay. It's broken here, so yeah. I'm gonna go around. Or, this, is a, this is a thousand year old city or whatever. Yeah, thousand. Yeah. You know, it's like they need to bomb it again. Yeah. So, like, let's uh, just all understand not like what we're living America, here with. Like, not like here, bro. You'd be walking the street, somebody, oh man, somebody gonna hurt their eye right there. Oh, yeah. or, bro, or I, I'm gonna sue fucking huh. Walmart because the fucking Sidewalks all under right. Yeah. It's cracked right Dude, you here. You got families here that every Fight. member of the family got two, three lawsuits going. On people, it just felt like it was a every, it was a cool place that it made sense. The city made sense. Like I, you know, see, wait, I I, nice. I I slipped at a Walmart uh, last week. You Get slipped. Out of I slipped you at fell? Walmart. Right. I, I I didn't really hurt myself. I hurt my knee. And after that, um, the lady saw me. She said, "You gotta go talk to a manager." I'm like, for what? He's like, oh, because you hurt, you, you fell. And I talked to a lady, and I was thinking in my head, hey, dude, I think this could be it, you know? <laughs> and, then, and then I talked to the manager. I talked to the manager, and then she's like, oh, what's going to happen is um, you, we're going to have to sign up a, a piece of paper. Then we're going to see if you got, you got hurt. Because, I mean, it, uh, it'd be different if you, if you broke your hand. Not that I'm saying you didn't hurt yourself really bad, you know? Just trying to cover yourself. She's a- and she was saying basically what happens is like they have a protocol the, yeah, for what to they'll do. take care of the medical bill. That's about it. And I was thinking in my head like, what if like I, I show up and then they're like they pull up all this footage of me stealing from or like you know not scanning <laughs> shit. You well, know? if you want to sue, then they're gonna investigate your ass. Why is there footage of that? I mean, sometimes I don't scan <laughs> some stuff, you know. But but all, was, you fell but, here, but you skateboard every day. That's weird. <laughs> basically, they told me you know unless it was like uh, like a broken hand or like something something obviously broken something crazy, then like. I'm not gonna get any money, you know. So I was like, thinking, oh, it's funny with those lawsuits because it's like uh, McDonald's they have you sign right there. Huh? Yeah, McDonald's actually got sued so much for slipping and falling that they developed a tile on the floor where you cannot mm-hmm. slip. Oh, Shut wow. up! Isn't that crazy for liability? Slip resistant? Yeah, because in Kmart, when you used to do work at Kmart, you see how people's all I slipped on a hanger, my back's all messed up, and I go, dude, go check the camera. Fool didn't slip. Look, what's up, fool? Show those dates. <laughs> yeah, man. January twenty second to the twenty sixth. Get ready. We're going to the Bahamas. Anybody wants to buy a ticket for that? They're still available. It's called Shipwreck with Impractical Jokers. It's called Ship Faced. Oh, Ship Faced yes. with Impractical Jokers. And um, Steve-O, Eric Andre, myself. Look at that. Everybody's there. Whoa. Rodrigo Torres, um, Rizzo. They're going to be on the Mike Comedy Show? No, uh, I don't think so. That I don't sucks. know how that's all working. I heard oh, that Joy Fatone's going to be answer. there, too. Who? They'll be on the podcast. Joy Fatone. Well, they're going to be following that yeah. Joy Fatone the time, is going to be on Practical yeah. Jokers, right? No, he's Joy Fatone is NSYNC. from uh, NSYNC. NSYNC. Yeah. The Italian dude, right? And Adam Ray. Joy Fatone, what's he going to be doing? DJ Blue, Adam Green. Does he do comedy The now? Flying no, Watts. he's just going to be there hanging out with, I think, uh, yeah, David Zucker. The Space Monkeys week. February 1st through February 3rd, Lovo, Kentucky. See you there. February 9, Minneapolis, Minnesota. February 10th, Lincoln, Nebraska. February 15th through the 17th, East Providence, Rhode Island. You know what? It's going to be cold as hell, so I probably won't be staying in a boat this time. <laughs> February 23rd to the 24th, Richmond, Virginia. Hell March yeah, 1st, Virginia. San Jose, California, Toyota Center. Whoa. No, uh, S-E-P Center, I think. Okay, A-P Center. S-E-P Center. Separate. That's it. Whoa. Hey, hey, how's it? Oh, okay. No, say it again. 
SCP Center. I think. SCP Center, people. I think that's what it is. Tickets at FelipeWorld.com. This is the benefit for that DJ. In, uh, also, and I'm performing at the Comedy Store. On next Short set, Tuesday. people. We'll get too happy. Next Tuesday, Sam Tripoli show. At Short the Comedy set. Store. Yeah. Short set. Comedy Chaos? We're not going to know Short set. Than here. Just, li- just like um, the Fool's Gone Wild show we did with Mystery. E. Shit, you know, bro, somebody says, oh, he was the best one, dog. Where were you, bro? Huh? Okay, yeah, Manny, dog, in Ontario. Eh? Who was there? <laughs> no, some fu- uh, fools to follow podcast, dude. <laughs> yeah, man, it was. Um, I don't know who this. It was a lot of comedians, bro. Oof. There was a lot of people backstage. It was a fight, Philip. You said right? Back there. Bro, Hoodstocks. The guy from Hoodstock. Shout out to Hoodstock. Yeah, we're probably gonna have. He him walked up soon. to Willie. Goes, man, you got me back from Be Real TV. <laughs> Shut up, fool. I died, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. Willie goes, I got banned too. God. Who cares? <laughs> okay, banned in the USA over here, huh, fool? And um, yeah, so shout out to Hoodstocks. I think Ken Flores just did that. Also, um, I, I, I'm on uh, that okay, show, um, What's co- Bert? What's Burning? Something's Burning. But it Some, hasn't come out yet. Has something's it? Burning with Bert. And uh, it, it hasn't came out yet, but look out for that. Me and Ken Flores were guests. Making chilaquiles. Making chilaquiles. Oh, shit, we made two dude. kinds. Rojo y verde? Yeah. All vegan, though, right? All vegan. Yeah. They loved it. Wow. And yeah, man, what's up? Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year, oh, yeah, man. guys. Bye. What's up, fool? You got shows, bro? bro? Yes. Looking for Pluto oh, yeah. or Puto? What are you looking for? Oh, Pluto TV. <laughs> so uh, <coughs> Friday, I'm going to be at the Ha Ha Cafe. <coughs> Cherry. You do a Terry and Saturday I'm gonna be uh, at the Mamba in Huntington Beach. Mamba. I'll be Mamba. at the Comedy Store tonight. Huntington Beach and then Comedy Store tonight. Yeah, and then I'll be at a uh, Vic's place next Tuesday. Vicky. Casa Torres. <coughs> Casa bro. Torres. Oh, dale, it's, Silmar, my, it's weird, man. Like restaurant. not to change the subject, keep going. But I was trying to find a Google. Um, can you can a uh, American comedian make fun money in Europe? And everybody goes, you know. You got to hustle. You could make 2500 a month, whatever. And then, like, this comic was like, I, I work in LA. It was hard to find gigs. Comedy store pays 25 And I'm like, dude, we're, it's hard. If you, if these white comics or the people, that, they're not meeting the right people, huh? Because the white comics I know, they always have work, man. Yeah, and do those rooms that don't pay too. Though. Yeah, like I mean. Vic Dunn, like other rooms but now. But they all those Hollywood rooms. All those like if you go, rooms, like if you're pay. looking for pay gigs in Hollywood, you ain't gonna find them. Go, you gotta go to West Covina. You gotta a go half hour That's drive. That's why Ralphie you, you gotta go said. to Bruce Soto's. You gotta do the Mexican yeah. rooms. Yeah, yeah the man. The Mexican rooms pay. You, you gotta go to the what other room you're going to? La Mamba. La Mamba. You gotta go. You gotta go like Orange Acapulco. County. Acapulco. Yeah. yeah. Outside of LA. LA, 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 it's just you're lucky to get stage time in LA. That's yeah, man. Look at That's Sebastian Santina, man. He survives just working the 605 freeway. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. It's I mean, we can cruise ships too. <laughs> See, <man. laughs> you, know, he, you know those cruise ships, bro? He does um, two hour boat trips, bro, from Long Beach. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, uh, <laughs> from California to the Catalina Island, bro. <laughs> the ferry tours. What's up, fool? What's up, man? Hell yeah. Orale, homie. Orale, bro. Hey, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh.